I need to be free from a spiritual husband. I need to love a fellow human being. Please help me. So, how do you want me to help you? Will you help me? I will try. I will try. Be specific. See, I don't even know what you want to tell me. So there is no need of me agreeing to do it or, or not. It is something you can do if you want to do it. I can only tell you if you swear to me that you will do it. Uh, uh, listen, real men of Akama Kingdom do not promise what they cannot do. Promise you will do it. Yes, I, I, I will do it. Okay then. There is... Come into this palace looking like this. <laughs> I don't understand. Let me ask you, are you here on invitation? <laughs> Excuse me? This is the people's palace. Do I need an invitation before I could come here? Says who? Says the king by himself. So get out of my way. Please, I don't want to be mad at you. Don't make me lose my composure. Leave. I'm not going anywhere until I see the queen. You are the last person the queen of this kingdom would want to see. Looking like this. No way. Please, leave. Listen, we need to understand ourselves. So we don't create unnecessary drama. And I'm... I came in quietly to see the queen and you have to let me do that. And I'm telling you that you cannot see the queen of Akama Kingdom. Go back to wherever you're coming from, dress properly and come back. There's nothing wrong with the way I'm dressed. I agree to what you said. But in this palace where we have defined rules, this dressing is indecent. I would advise you leave. What leave. is going on here? I humble myself before Her Majesty, Queen Asana of Akama Kingdom. You're welcome. Who is she? I'm Ivy, my queen. I'm a daughter of the soil. I came in to see you, but this one will not let me. And that is because her dressing will cause a problem. My queen, I am not happy that you use your royal eyes to look at this lady who is bereft of her manners. Ozamana, quit the name calling. I'm sorry. Who taught you that? I'm sorry, my queen. He is right. You are not properly dressed. But as the daughter of the soil, I'll attend to you. Okay, my queen. Thank you. Come with me. Okay, my queen. You say your name is Ivy. Ivy Shukude, my queen. I'm a native of this kingdom. Ivy, I want you to go straight to the point. The king could walk out any moment now, and he will not be happy to see me giving audience to somebody who is dressed like you are dressed. I'm sincerely sorry, my queen. I didn't know my the style of my dressing is going to be an issue. Please go straight to the point. My queen, what I'm about to say now may sound awkward to your hearing, but believe me, it's very painful to me because of the adverse effect it has on me. 
Your submission sounds very weighty already. Can you spill with the details? I didn't want to go to the king to complain or to the wife of the man involved. If I tell the king, he's going to lose his highly exalted position. If I tell the wife, his family would be in shambo. So I decided to speak to you first because of your campaign against assault on the girl child. Ivy, save us the time and hit the nail on the head. My queen, I can't, I mean, it pains me that do you know who asked me out and I actually fell for it. I actually agreed. I'm sorry, I don't think I heard you well. What did you say? The owner who asked me to be his side chick. Initially, I didn't want to listen, but he insisted. Then I decided to date him and I went all out. He promised to buy me a car and make me comfortable as a lady. And I agreed. My queen, this is the eighth month. Oh no, who has not bought me the car? Neither has he made me comfortable. Eh? I'm sorry. Which Ono who are we talking about here? The same Ono who, my queen. Ono who, Oto Kanandu of Akama. I have come to plead with you, my queen. To please ask him to fulfill his promise to me. <laughs> Otherwise, nobody will be worse than me. No one will like how I'm going to handle this, my queen. Okay, I've heard you. I will look into it. Thank you, my queen. Thank you for giving me audience. I truly appreciate this. Let me also add that I would not like you to share this with any other person. As you know, the consequences would not be favorable to all parties involved. Allow me to handle it my way. Okay, my queen. Do you care for anything? No, my queen. Are you sure? If I need anything, I'll let you know, my queen. I, I mean, I won't hesitate to let you know if I need anything. All right, then. I have to be on my way now. Okay. Okay. Thank you, my queen. Take care now. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh no. Talk and Oh my god. No. I had the fun of my life today. Beauty, beauty. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you like the experience, right? You liked it. What is talking about like here? I love it. Oh, you love it? <laughs> of course. Oh my God. I do. Oh my God. So that means uh, you would want a repeat experience, right? Of course. See, you have my number. Mm -hmm. Anytime you need me, just give me a phone call. And even if I miss the call, I'll definitely call you back. I like the sound <laughs> of that. <laughs> but you see, El, yeah. now you are the food for the gods. Hmm? That local government headquarters <laughs> is now meant for just the gods. Eh? So don't let <sighs> any other person go there. Is that understood? <laughs> eh? Oh no. Uh. You have just spoken in parables. Mm -hmm. But as the daughter of the soil, I understand you perfectly well. Yeah. I mean, nobody, you all have me all to yourself. Oh. Or do you think I'll ever cheat on you? Oh, that is not what I'm saying. No, you understand? I I bet. Look, eh? that does not mean that uh, you will not have a boyfriend or other boyfriends. 
Why would you say that? See, you know I, I am getting old. Eh? You need a young boy who can plan your future with you. You know, I'm not going to marry you. See, you know, I get all the warmth and comfort that I, I need from you. So I don't need anyone else, please. Oh, look, eh, the way you say these things, eh, it, it mesmerizes me, you know? <laughs> no, eh, it not See, this let, let me tell you one thing. Do you know that I love you? I love you. You love me and you're asking me to go get a boyfriend. You don't love me. Oh, you just misunderstanding me. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay? <laughs> come, come on, kiss me, kiss me. <laughs> you too much! You this You too much! <laughs> so, no. It's about the money you promised me. Ah, come on. Look, before you get home, you hear Bangam a lot. I trust Bangam you. a lot. <laughs> I know what you can do. Alright, thank you. No it's alright. I need to start going now. Okay? okay, no problem. You know I will never disappoint you. Alright, no problem. Mm -hmm. Thanks for today. Alright. Yeah. I enjoyed myself. Oh. Alright. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah. Alright, bye bye. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Beauty the beauty. Beauty, the beauty. Look, something must kill a man. Let me refresh myself with all this young blood. These vitamin givers. Ew! Look at her. So fresh. There we go. Ooh. Happen. Your father is at it again. How do you mean? Your father is seeing other women. How did you come about this information, Mama? My daughter, I was reliably informed that your father was seen at the road leading to Mazo Kando's house with a young girl. Did you follow them to confirm this information? Why? Don't you know how useless your father can be? Do I need to follow your father to confirm his escapades with Gail? Yes, Mama. Yes. You need to follow him and confirm because people are capable of sitting down, cooking up a story and throwing it at you, knowing full well that you're capable of jumping at it without any verification. So yes, you should have confirmed. The person that gave me this information can never lie to me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Really, Mama? Mm -hmm. The same way Mama Onyeka did last week, and it turned out to be nothing but lies. Wait, why does it appear as if you're supporting your father? Mama, I am not. I am not, Mama. Then what are you doing? Because judging from the way you are talking, you are supporting your father. Mama, I am not supporting Papa. How else do you want me to say it? All I am trying to do is bring your attention to the fact that the fact someone is a thief does not mean that every time something is missing, they stole it. Mama, please, before you confront Papa, go and confirm the information. Please, Mama, because I know you. If not, the first thing you would do as soon as Papa gets back is to confront him, which is not the right thing to do. You it's know why I am happy. I am happy because you know your father is a thief. And listen, let me tell you, if he comes back here, I am going to confront him. And I'll keep doing that till he changes. Mama, Mama, listen. Mama, calm down. Mama. Confronting someone is not bad. As a matter of fact, it is good. How
However, that is when you must have confirmed that the person is guilty of whatever wrong you're confronting them about. Not when you're not sure. Please, come. Jello. Atalongi. Atalongi. Wait, oh, did you pin me? Eh? Why am I even arguing with you? Like father, like daughter. Hey, I'm on fire. Mama, mama, mama. Oh. Ma mama. I don't know why people cannot even mind their business, eh? Why would somebody go and tell her that now? Mama! Mama! Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, can I open it? Uh, no, don't worry. Okay. I'll open it when I feel like it. Thank you. Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> what we have here? My darling friend and my friend. Ah, I guess it's so. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you too. How are you? Great. Please sit down. Thank you. <laughs> I was very surprised when your line went through when I called you. And I was surprised when I saw your call. You know, I came into Nigeria three days ago. Mm -hmm. Came into the village this morning. Oh. So I actually thought you saw me somewhere. That was no. why you were calling. No. But <laughs> I was calling because there is something very important I want us to talk about. Okay? Yeah. I'm listening. Do you care for food or meat? Uh, no, no. I'm fine. You sure? Of course. <laughs> Are you shy? Huh? Shy, okay. This is my home, so there's no way I can be shy here. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. And I will say you're glowing. Emma, uh, you look beautiful every oh time I see God. you. Please, Thank what is the secret? You. you really want to know the of secret? Of course. Let me see if I can borrow a leaf. Mm -hmm. It's Jesus. <laughs> it's Lord God Almighty. <laughs> you have not. <laughs> not oh, I got you there, eh? <laughs> That girl is cheating on you. She cannot cheat on me. Yes. Okay, this is the truth and you have to embrace it. How do you explain the fact that she has not been taking your calls since morning? Maybe she left her phone. Left her phone where? Eh? Yeah? Left her phone where? She may have left her phone at home or something. For what reason? Eh? Yeah? No girl her level can leave her phone anywhere for any reason. Since morning. What makes you think so? You and I know that that phone is her office. And there is no way she would leave her office shut down since morning. Eh? Can you think now? Wake up now. Can, can we please change this topic? Can we please? Let's just change this topic. This is my problem. There's no you. problem. This is my problem. You always like to shy away from I am not shying away from any reality for crying out loud. And you know it. What are you even saying? Huh? Okay, you have to calm down. This is reality. You have to face it. Face it and deal with it once and for all. Eh? Look, let me tell you. I am not going to sit here with you and face any tight self-reality of yours because they are false and frame up. You're just making them up. There is no reality to face and that is the truth. Did you just say I am making all this up? Of course. You're making them up. They are false. I mean, why would you just be... Making up things that, 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 that does not exist. How can you be accusing my woman that she's cheating on me? What fact and evidence do you have, Okudre? Do you even know what you're saying? Okay, what do I what do I stand to gain in all this? What do I stand to gain in painting her black? The only reason why I'm interested in this thing is because she's a girl you want to marry. Okay, the posterity will judge me if I don't speak the truth. Okay, the, okay, the, calm down. Marrying this girl. Is walking into a death trap. Don't say I didn't tell you. I've just realized that you don't know how much I love this girl. It has just occurred to me that you don't know how much value I place on this girl. I mean, this girl, it's my life. After my tree, she is nest. I value her with everything in me. There is no amount of frame up or makeup that you will put up here or anywhere or at any time that will make me leave her. She's the girl I love and I want to marry. Nothing should come in between me and her. Not even you, my man. 
I forbid you. Mukede. Mukede. How many times did I call you? You're making a mistake, oh. Okodri, the mistakes are mine. Allow me to make my mistakes and enjoy them. Okay? Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I did not warn you. Going ahead to marry this girl, you are going to regret it. Okay, do you will regret it if you go ahead and marry this girl? Okodri, allow me to face my problems now. Allow me to face my own problems. Are they not mine? Are they yours? Hey, it is my own problem. Allow me to face it for crying out loud. This is my own problem. Allow me to, to, to write on it and enjoy it. Hey, hey, did I make mistake by telling you that my woman wasn't picking my call? Has it become a crime? See, in fact, give me some space, please. I am beginning to think this thing is not ordinary. Mukede! She must be very stupid to think that your know who will fulfill his promise, especially buying Haika. <laughs> but why would your know who renege in his promise? Wait, I don't understand that question. My question is easy to understand. There's nothing to it. Not that I don't understand the actual question. All I'm saying is, you and I know that you know who only said that to get her in his bed. Now that he has gotten his wish, why would he fulfill his promise? The only thing he will do is to find another girl to deceive. And that is it. That is how it is. And you don't think it's wrong for him to do that? It's inhuman and I will not allow it. It's like you're interested in this matter. I am, and I intend to pursue it to a logical end. How do you intend to do that? <laughs> you know, I already have a platform where I advocate for the rights of the girl child. I will use that same platform to advocate for the rights of the side chicks. Huh? Right of the side chick. You heard me. <laughs> Wait. In a community as cultural as Akama. <laughs> I mean, this sounds very crazy to me right now. What? As crazy as it sounds, I will see to it to the end. Wait. You know that we live in a world where men are considered gods. And anything they do, they are backed by tradition. Even when the law forbids it, the custom and the tradition pats them on the back and urges them on. So the way I am seeing it, there is nothing you can achieve with this. You are not going anywhere with this. Besides, as a queen, you are supposed to uphold the morality and the uprightness of our young girls. I mean, you should be telling them that their virginity matters. You should be telling them that they should keep themselves. Now, you are saying that you want to start going after the men to compensate them for being with them. I mean, how does that sound? To me, it doesn't make any sense. She's um, my dear friend, you are completely right. However, I wish to let you know that I am one woman that does not live in self-denial. We live in a new world where it is no longer realistic that our girls remain virgins until marriage. Many of our girls are now sexually active and it is the men that are responsible for it. So I would rather clamp down on these men and get them to do the needful than to involve their wives because doing that will lead to collapses of marriages. And I'm not one to collapse a marriage. <laughs> Rights of a side chick. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I spent 10 good hours in a hotel room with a man. And he didn't give me one night. What sort of stupidity is this? Did he just. He can't be. Maybe let me wait in the evening. If I don't see a lot, I know what to do. What are you doing here all alone? I have a lot on my head. Where are you coming from? 
From your house, of course. Thank God I met you here. Why? What happened? Any problem? Not really. It's Mokedi. He has visited me today more than 10 times, looking for you. Wait, I don't understand. I cannot go out again. Well, I don't think his worry is that you went out. Then what's his worry? He said he has been calling you, and you weren't picking up. Uh -uh. If you call person, person no pick, you call him back now, or you call the next day. Am I with his kidney? What? Yes. We are talking about your man here. And so? Ha! I beg go. You see, what can you should learn to understand me? Well, that's his question to answer. But wait, what's up? Babe, I need to see Ono. Is it? Ono? Yes, now. Nah. Why are you acting as if I said an abominable thing? Ono who has a wife. I know. Oh. You know? Yes. And you are still seeing him. Moreover, he has a girlfriend. Eh? Uh -huh. Babe. Uh uh. You know all these things now. You know why they follow all these men. Now, because of money. What's that, what's that one can they do with old man like that? Uh uh. You check me out now. Why do they talk like that? Okay. Wait. Beg. What if Moke okay, finds out? Then so be it. Huh? Uh huh. Wait. You're, you're sounding as if you don't love this guy. Like, seriously. Do you love him? Angela. You of all people should know better. You know I love him. You know I love Wokedi so much. But you should just learn to understand me. I mean, he's not a baby. Yeah. You shouldn't be taught everything. He needs to understand you. Yes. I think you, you should make him to understand. Like, speak to him. Talk to him. I believe he will understand. See, Wokedi cannot be taught everything. He's not a baby now. Uh-uh. Should I come and be babysitting him? You should understand all these things. I beg. I don't get time for all those ones. So. Oh, Chimo. Well, whatever you want to do, just do. All I know and all I care for is try and visit him or call him. Do anything. Just try and get to Angela, him. Angela, change topic, I beg. I don't tire. I beg. See, let's change topic. I'm tired of talking about Mokedi. I have a lot going through my head right now. Okay. He's the list of my problem, I beg. No problem. But just try and see him. Because this guy has been going around this village. Angela, because of I am tired of this topic. In fact, I need to go home and rest. I need to sleep. If you know the kind of stress I'm coming out from now, you'll not be finished with me. Eh? Ah, what's your problem? It's your problem, Sha. So, sort yourself. Let me tell you the gospel truth, my dear friend and queen of Akama. <laughs> you are just going to waste your time and your effort in something that will not yield anything. Trust me. I mean, men with their resorts to patriarchy will never allow you bend anything. Trust me. They will not. You know, lawyers will always say that they see merit in a case before taking it up. I'm borrowing that line. I see merit in this particular issue. And that is why I have decided to pursue it relentlessly. If as a man you cannot maintain a side chick, then you have no business toasting one. They are not sex toys that you can use and dump at will whilst making bogus promises that you will end up not fulfilling just so you can have sex with them. Fantastic. 
Where are you going? Which kind of stupid question is that? Huh? You heard me correctly. I just said, where are you coming from? It's a simple question. Okay, let me ask you a simple question also. When I was leaving the house this morning, where did I tell you I was going to? You told me you were going to the palace. Exactly. So why are you asking me where I'm coming from? <laughs> because I called the palace and they told me you were not there. Excuse me? Do you have to call the palace? Why would I not call the palace? Because you were busy running after young girls. Girls that are young enough to be your daughters. I take exception to that accusation. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is an affront, an insult to my personality. And I want you to withdraw it immediately. That is the last thing I will do or no who talk and handle. I will not do that because I am saying the truth. Which truth are you talking about? Truth by your own standard or the generally accepted truth? <laughs> huh? You are busy running after small, small girls. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Look, Mama Beatrice, I don't have time for this madness now. Allow me to go in there and get my well-deserved rest. You're going nowhere. Mama, please. I said you are going nowhere. Oh, no, we'll talk. Shut Mama. up! Please, if you are going Wait. Did I hear you say that the great Onowu of Akama Kingdom will not be able to access his house that he built with his own money. Exactly what I meant. The great Onowu of Akama Kingdom, Onowu of Omuwa, Onowu Tokanando Omuwa, is not entering this house until you tell me where you are coming from. Beatrice. Yes, Papa. Better. No, pa Papa. Better. Go back to those smelling gears. Go. No matter what you give or no, we start to say chicks in the rest. Jai. What the perfect? I should get to him. Money the one child of Sabuga. I put up where if and I watch it. If and I watch it, and I saw you so. Jai. But no one said I can go. Say chicks in a book with me. I know you still go back. And make sure you have the answers to my questions. Mama, Mama, I don't like this so. I don't like it at all. You've literally just sent Papa away, and you don't know if he went back to the same place you're trying to stop him to go. No matter how aggravated you were, Mama, you should have at least allowed Papa to enter inside now. Aggravated. Gawa gone. Mama, not to speak me English. Aggravated. Aggravated. Gawa pa gone. Like father, like daughter. Look at her. Ibe Nonsense. You will still come back and meet him. Mama. Hey. What does that lady want? The one that came earlier today. Oh, that one. She came to see the queen, but from all indications, she came to sell her, you know, her market. I, I don't understand. What does she sell? Uh, is I the one asking this? As if you don't know. Every one of us here understand why the woman was here now. Why are you behaving as if you just came in today? Ha, ah, that one. No, they ask this kind of thing, that guy. Uh, honestly, uh, I don't know. Uh, moreover, from her appearance, she does not even look like someone who sells anything. Don't me confused. Okay, understand. okay. If you don't know, if you don't know what she was here for, forget it. In fact, don't understand it. Yeah? How far we turn she can? Now you can. Uh, my guy, hmm? that girl, I know go lie for now. She still above my head. I, I didn't suffer. See, I just feel you chose the dumb. Believe me, ah. if not me. Eh? If not me, I would not shoot this girl. Pay, ah. pay. Mm -hmm. Clean mouth. I would not shoot and clean mouth. Mm -hmm. My guy, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I disagree with you. That case is not like that. I mean, this case is so preserved. You, you guys are giving this girl the power and respect she doesn't deserve. I know you like her. The truth is that it's only both of us now that have sense in this place. Hmm? Um, 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 if, you, if you don't know, if you don't know how to go about it, if you don't understand how to talk to a woman, you can just come now, come to us. In fact, Ozemina, 
teach him how to get that girl. Yo, as I'm gonna teach him, Mr. Coach, big player. Oh, yeah, nah. Okay, if you need the code for things like this, you come, you pay me, everything will be settled. No, I don't need any useless code, I beg. Thank you. Don't worry. Uh, uh, with time, uh, you don't need everything it. will, will work out. Uh, 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 it's okay, I understand you. I know you will be preparing. Hmm? Yes. Continue to be preparing. Until another guy. Uncle, you can't follow Mark Benana, so. I swear, I swear they will be. It's a lie. It's not like that. All, it, it can never happen. Keep no, preparing, man. Also, Hannah, I'm going to go to the house. Babe, why does he appear as if you don't want to tell me what transpired between you and the Queen? How did he go? Well, I feel everything is going on well. The Queen listens to me. She even offered to entertain me, but I declined. I wasn't there for that. Nice. What about the complaint? Of course, she promised to do something about it. I mean, I still can't believe that the Queen listened to you. She didn't cut cross like someone who would pay attention to anyone that walks into the palace without invitation or appointment with her. Well, maybe it's one of those notions people have about people. Before they get to know them, she halted the stupid guard that was embarrassing me. And then she listened to me. Wow, well, I'm impressed. I'm impressed that the coin is not what they painted her to be. Not at all. The woman I met today is a nice person. She showed concern. Wow, this is impressive. What about Casey? How is he? Mm, my Casey. Casey's fine. He'll be visiting next week. But I hope he's not going to find out what is going on between you. I don't know. How would he find out? Or are you planning to tell him? Don't be ridiculous. How could you say a thing like that? Just joking. <laughs> Better. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. We are know. Your Majesty. Welcome. Sit down. Thank you. Your voice didn't sound well on the phone. What is the problem again? Your Majesty, I know who talk and is at it again. What is it this time around? Your Majesty, I want you to help me ask my husband. Talk to him. Ask him what he saw in small girls that he's running after. I cannot ask him such question. But all the same, if you have anything to discuss with me, go ahead and talk. I'm all ears. Your Majesty, my husband has started running after small girls again. You know what this kingdom? Do you have any proof to that? Your Majesty, I was reliably informed that he was seen in his car with a small girl. And you think it's enough for you to conclude that he's having an affair outside? Eh? The young girl in question may be a lady of Akama Kingdom that he wants to help. Your Majesty, I can bet with my life that the lady in question is my husband's side chick. And how did you know she is a side chick? Your Majesty, do not defend my husband, for you do not know him too well. I am not trying to defend anybody. I'm only reacting from what you've just said. In as much as you want to protect your family and your husband, you need to censor every information you receive so they do not accuse him wrongly. Your Majesty, the person who gave me this information was so sure. You are educated. Be careful and verify before you accuse him wrongly. Your Majesty, please, I want you to talk to my husband. He is the man I married. I know him too well. And I know when he starts his nonsense. 
you are talking about the law of this kingdom. Do you have any proof to that effect? Mm, okay. uh, but that wasn't enough reason for you to not have picked my call now. Uh, really? Yes. What okay. can Check it now. It wasn't enough reason. I was calling and calling and calling. And calling. You didn't pick my call. You know what? I guess I wasted my time coming here to see hey. you. Hey! Please let me be, Kim. Hey. Leave me. Ma'am, I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. It's just that I was worried. I was missing the love of my life. I had to be calling and calling and calling. You didn't pick. Wait. Are you suggesting that I'm cheating on you or what? Because hey. I don't understand. You know, I, 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 it's not what I mean. Oh, I didn't say that. You didn't say it, but you're implying it. Baby, don't see it like that please. now, please. You don't see it that way. It's not what I mean. I, I was only worried that something may have happened to the love of my life. If anything happened to you now, don't you know I, I would die? Hey, what would I do without you? I can't live without you, please. I was worried. Hmm? It's okay, I've heard you, please. I'm sorry, yeah. Apology accepted. Sorry. It's mine for me now, baby. My queen. I want to ask you for something. Yeah. What is it? See, I want you to trust me. I will never cheat on you. Just believe me now, please. You be my I, I trust you. And I know you can't cheat on me. I know I, I was only worried that something bad may have happened to you. That was why. That was my concern. Nothing is going to happen to me. I'm here and I'm here for you. Hey, so don't worry, I'm thank good. You so much. Hmm? Stop getting worried. I love you so much. You're you such a big it's... baby. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> my baby, you know, I can't do anything without you. I now. know. <laughs> you mean so much to me. I love you too. I love you with all my I heart. In too. fact, who <sighs> him? Huh? Hey, I've missed you so much. I missed you more. Guess, guess what? What? Just, just make a case now. Just make a case. Mm. Let me say, you made my favorite. Hey! Am I right? How did you know? Oh, thank you. That's the first feel of you. <laughs> you see that thank my heart so and your heart is like, like what? I cannot wait. <laughs> I love your food. Hey, you see how you just guess what was in my heart? <laughs> Baby, this food is so delicious. Really? Yeah, but <laughs> you know you, you didn't really have to disturb yourself preparing this for me. What do you mean? Hmm? You spoil it when you say disturb. I did it with all pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> By the way, where is your spoon? I don't need a spoon because the meal is for you alone. Come on, babe. You know I cannot finish this. Well, eat what you can. I'm not going to eat all I can. I, I'm going to feed you from this. No. You are going to eat I'm from okay. here. I'm no, okay. No, no, I'm good. Have to share. You have to share. I think my father is back. Oh, oh okay. Let me get the gifts, please. Oh. I'll be right back. That greetings to yourself. The question here is, who are you? Wait, Papa, I just told you he's my friend. Keep quiet! Keep quiet this minute! Stay out of this! Young man, leave my compound this minute. Papa, 
He just came to see you and you... I said keep quiet. One more word from you and you will see the other side of me. Young man, I said out. Papa, please. I mean, why are you treating my friend like a nobody? As far as I am concerned, he is a nobody. And I don't want to see him and eat near my precious daughter. Papa. Now out. Papa, that is a... That's the wrong way to judge him. Please, Papa. My friend, five seconds or you will be reg you will regret being born. Out! He judge. I said, get out. Papa. And where do you think you're going? Come on, get back here. He judge. Get up. Papa, why are you doing this to me now? Get inside. Papa, what is this now? Beauty, you said you wanted to have a discussion with me. Yes. I'm here now, so go ahead and talk. I didn't see the money you promised to wire into my account. Oh, oh, oh. My bad. I don't know, maybe it's old age. I completely forgot. But why didn't you remind me? Wait, I should remind you for something you promised me. How can you even say that to me? Should you should you be reminded? It's all right. Don't worry. I, before the end of today, you will get an alert. Okay? Oh no, we sis, you don't even understand. You are going to send that money right here and now. Beauty. Yes. What do you mean by I'm sending that money right here and now? What, what, what's the meaning of that force? You heard me. We had an agreement, and I've kept my own back part of the bargain, and you have to keep to yours, and you're doing it right here and now. Or you want, you want me to force you? Oh. Yes. You want to force me? Yes, I will. Okay. Go ahead and force me. I should go ahead and force you. Mm -hmm. Really? I should go ahead and force you. Come, Beauty, you're, you're joking, right? Does this face look like one who is joking? Like, do I really look like a joke to you? Do I look like a joke to you? Have you forgotten that you are talking to the only world of this great kingdom? Which huh? You are talking to me with force like that. But if you get out of my car, I have an important engagement. Come and push me. I am not leaving this car until you send that money. I will not leave here. You must send that money into my account. And right now. Oh, you want to see what I can do? You really want to see what I can do, ba? Oh no. You want to try me? Greetings, Your Majesty. You sent for me. I'll send my name. How are you? I'm fine. I have been calling the Ono and his number is not connecting. Can you please hurry to his place and let him know that I'm summoning him before me? Your Majesty, he just got off the phone with the king and he's already on his way to the palace. He is? Yes, my queen. Who is he coming to see? His Majesty the King. Very well then. Do let him know that when he is done discussing with the King, I would like to see him also. I will do that, my Queen. You may leave now. Let it not be that this girl has carried this matter to the king. I will not be happy to hear that. Beauty, I don't want to use force on you. But if you force me to, if you don't get out of this car this minute, I will. Please feel free to use force on me. But before then, I will call your wife to come see things herself. Beauty! Feel free, yes. You dare not. <laughs> Try using force on me then. Oh no, no. Try it. But Beauty, why are you doing this? Eh? Why? 
you cost it. I mean, men like you are the type that like using young girls. And at the end of the day, you won't keep to the uh, uh, end of the bargain. Ah, beauty, but I told you, I will pay. Then prove it. Prove it by sending the money into my account. What is there? Send the money to my account. In fact, from the look of things, eh, I'm not sure this relationship will continue. Honestly. Same here. Same here because I, I, I can't deal with a stingy man. Ah, uh, that is where you get me wrong. I am not stingy. I'm very generous. Anyway, let me not talk. I don't need to blow my own trumpet. You're not generous anything. See, send the money to my account. Prove it. Prove me wrong. See, this one you are barking like a wounded dog. How much am I even owing you? I'm not owing. How much did I promise you? Because I'm not owing you. It's 50,000 naira you promised me. So send it to me. Beauty? Yes. So it's because of ordinary 50,000 naira that you want to pull that heaven. Carry heaven or I'll bring it to the earth. Wait, you call it ordinary and yet you cannot send the money to me. Since it's ordinary, I send it to my account now. What's the big deal? <laughs> beauty, beauty. Please. Beauty, 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 beauty. <laughs> Look at me. Look, at, once you are angry, eh, your beauty begins to radiate, you know? Ah, that is when I won't love you the more. Yeah, Please, get, don't get angry me. now, get angry. Don't patronize me. See, you really got me upset. I'm really angry with you. Okay, wait. Let me have your account number. Wait, that means you didn't even save the account number the last time, as you promised. Give me the account number already. In fact, as we speak, I'm already in your bank. That means you didn't even have plan to even send the money to me. Yeah. Give me the number. 50-810-11581. Bangam, go and check your account balance. <laughs> Is there? I won't put a strap. I've seen the money. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I need to start going now. Are, are you not forgetting something? What is that? Oh, come on. Give daddy a kiss. Come on. Give yeah, daddy a no, kiss. You feel like good thing, but if, if it's to bring money, you'll not bring money. Come on, daddy. You eh? Okay, 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 okay. Come, come, come and see this for yourself. We have to leave, leave that thing you're eating. See what? Did you see a spirit? What should I come and see? Follow me, let's go. How do you expect me to follow you to somewhere that I don't even know? Would you tell me where I'm following you to? Okay, I just saw your girlfriend, Beauty, kissing another man in the sky. Follow me, let's go and see. I thought you even have something important to talk about, eh? You've gone to smoke that thing you smoke. Someone saw you running, bah, 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 bah. see you, you saw his. Nah, okay. Hey, did you go and smoke that thing you used to smoke? Wait, is it, is it that you don't believe me or what? Why would I believe you? Believe you for what? Look, if this is what you have come here to discuss this afternoon, okay, I'm not interested. This is my problem with you. Eh? This is my problem with you. You trust this girl too much. You have so much trust for her. Come and say something. You are, you are, you are here doubting me. Come and eat. See. Hey, for you to be able to marry, a woman, hmm? you must learn to trust them. But that is if the woman is worthy of being trusted. That's if she can be trusted. My own can be trusted, and I trust her. To prove that to you now, just follow me and come and see. Keep this thing you're eating. Come and follow me. Let's go. And if I follow you to that place and end up finding out that it's not my woman that you saw, what do you want me to do to your wedding? Set money. No, take a bet now. How much do you want to set? If I will not eat your money this afternoon, take a bet. What the quite serious? Because the mabas, if I leave this food now that I want to eat and satisfy my hunger and follow you that place and find out that it's not my woman that you saw there. Yem game, make it, eh? Okay, let's go. Yeah? Come on, food, let's go. I, I will not bet money with you. I, I just want to follow and prove to you that it's not my girl that you saw. Let me drink ordinary water. You don't have this time now. Don't pity, let's go. Follow me, let's go. Let me drink. Yeah? Okay. Follow my friend, follow me. Wait, 
Why do you want to see me? I should have a greeting first before this question, don't Bruce, you think? Bros, I don't have time for courtesy at all. So if you know what you want to say, say it. It's like someone got you upset before coming out to see me. That should be the least of your problems. Can you start talking? Well, what I want to say to you is like a seed. And your character is a soil. Hence, it cannot germinate. I can see you really do not have any reason calling me out here. I do. No, you don't. You don't, because if you do, you would have started talking already. Can we go somewhere and talk? No. This is a very appropriate place for us to talk. Why are you this hostile to me? Listen, you have just 10 seconds to start talking easy. or I'll walk out of here. Come on, easy. Five seconds left. I said you some you're a woman. And you your see... time is up. Let it be on record that you called me out here to waste my time. Excuse me? What is wrong with you? God damn it. What kind of a person is this? You don't want to run again. This was the exact spot I saw them. Then eh? the vehicle was parked here, just like this. Hey, hey, now see the legs. See the hey, see the legs of the tire. See, see you see? The vehicle was parked here. The, the, the man was here. Hey, man, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your girlfriend Beauty was here. And they were kissing. Kissing and frolicking here. So where are they? Where are they now, Okodre? They were here moments ago now. They were here. So this is why you came and made me to leave the food that I was eating. I was so hungry, I wanted to satisfy my hunger. You just made me to abandon my food in the middle of nothing, only to come and witness your mere imagination. Why would you call it imagination now, eh? Why would you say? My problem is why do you not always believe? Whatever thing that concerns this game, you don't believe it. Yes, Yes, didn't I believe you? I believed you. That's why I left the food at home and followed you. I'm following you only to come here and observe your, your hallucination and nothing but hallucination. Now stop it, stop it. I will not take that nonsense from you. Which one is hallucination? Can't you take back that word? What kind of nonsense is that? Uh, am I mad? Am I, am I, am I, do I drink carelessly? Or do I, is there something I smoke? Am why I, would you call it hallucination? Is it sure that you're not smoking? My friend, stop listening. I, I, I said I saw them. Eh? These are the legs of the vehicle. Are you not seeing these legs of the vehicle? The vehicle was parked here. The man here, your woman here. Eh, eh, See eh, see eh. I, I guess we should just walk down the road. I'm sure they might have gone it off those ways. I Let's just walk down the road and see if we see. I run up again. Eh? Walk down where? You and who? Which one is me? You are me and you now? Nah? Me and you. Eh? My cat, if, if you were not my good friend, eh, I would have found one stone here and just and I help this your two legs. You're looking for work, ba? Just go and look for one farm there and help them and be farming. Don't don't come and stress my life, oh. Which one is uh, bringing somebody out to come and see ghosts that you saw? I told you, you're not going to see something. Oh, we're here now, Baginisi. You didn't see me. Tell the people that sent you that you didn't see me. I don't know okay, are you suggesting that, that they have become so, 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 so jobless and, and that they have too much free time to be walking around to look for stories hey, to tell? Eh? Hey, 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 see, is this not, not, eh, eh, eh? Where you going? I'm coming. This boy, eh? Hello. Majesty. Your wife was here yesterday. She came here. What did she come to do? She came to register her displeasure over the way you move around small, small girls in this kingdom. You know, is that the truth? Well, Your Majesty, you know. Hmm? In as much as uh, what she's saying is true, that woman, that 
Mama Beatrice. He's only looking for trouble. I don't think so. I don't think she's looking for trouble. She's only trying to guard, protect what actually belongs to her from these small, small girls. Your Majesty, forget about her. Eh? Did she tell you she lacks anything? Uh, she didn't say anything like that. <laughs> Nothing like that. Your Majesty, look, forget about this woman. Eh? If I tell you how I spend on this woman, now let me tell you, I want to bust your bubble. Do you know I give her a whooping 200,000 every month for her upkeep? Aside the fact that I'm the one that pays all the bills. Eh? Then on top of that, I buy food stuff. Each time I travel, I buy bush meat, plantain, yams, everything. Eh? So what, what, what's her problem? Is she lacking anything? Oh no, these things you're talking about is not her worry at all. It's not her trouble. Her worry is what these uh, small, small girls do with her husband outside there. That is the only thing disturbing her. Look, Your Majesty, don't allow anything about my wife come between us. Eh? I want to enjoy my life. She's trying to frustrate me and I will not allow it. No, ah. no, 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 no. But judge it by yourself. Your family is your first priority. They come first. No. Well, I know, Your Majesty, I know. I know that my family comes first. And I am very good at that. My, my family is okay. Huh? You know but, something, I know. I would rather advise that you deal with these girls more of indoors than outdoors. Yes, that way you will dance their curiosity. Honestly. <laughs> Your Majesty, <laughs> that is the expert talking. Who am I not to obey the advice? I'll Please do, advice. so that you don't spoil this for Yes, us. I will. <laughs> Baby. 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 Where did you go to? I thought I told him I was coming to see him. Hey, baby. Hey, when did you come now? That shouldn't be the question. The question should have been, where are you coming from? Even after I told you I was coming to spend time with you. I'm sorry. See, my friend here and I, we went somewhere to go and check something. Check, 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 check what? We went to confirm who that man is. The man I saw you with in the car. You kissing and fumbling with. Excuse you? Put the ring. My friend, put her, put her. Come down, let me handle this. Who cared? Baby. You brought me out here to be insulted. No, it's not what you think, my love. It's not what you think. Wait, if I should understand this. He stupidly came here to tell you that he saw me kissing a man in his car. And you stupidly followed him to go confirm, right? You went to go catch me right and dead. It, it, it's a lie. It's, not, it, it's a different, you know. There is a mix I'm of... disappointed at you. Baby. I'm very much disappointed baby, at you. Baby, please now. We can Let sort me this go. Thing. Baby, we can sort this thing out. You don't just have to be angry like that now. You know I love you. Hey, I'm we can't you sort know. anything out. Baby, baby, please now. Don't just leave me. They are working. You see what you've cost now. Have you seen? What do you just cost now? If you know what is good for you, follow this girl and go and bring her back here now. And now, if not, I'm going to vent my anger on you. Ma Basi! Calm down, eh? It hasn't gotten to that. Don't tell me to calm down. Come, I told you to follow this girl and go and bring her back. You want to enter inside? What the you him now? Listen, I give me kill. Let me open this door and enter inside. It has gotten to that, and that is exactly where we are. Now you're not entering anywhere. Follow her and go and bring her back. That girl is my wife. Without her, I can't live. Come bring her back for me. Give me kill. Let me open door and enter the house now. Give you which key. Go and bring the girl back for me. Eh? Yeah, that's what you want. Eh? It's your house. It's the house, so I have my own house. Go and bring the girl. Fake, fake time prior. I don't know if it's ghost you saw. You come and tell me here that you saw my girl with who. Next time you you be careful or, or have to spread false news about people. Anon Pam. 
Greetings, my queen. Greetings, on no. all. Please oh. sit. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, my queen. Do you care for anything? Uh, no, I'm fine. I'll be brief and straight to the point so that you can attend to other things that you have to attend to. I will appreciate that, my queen. A young lady who goes by the name Ivy came to me and complained that you promised her a car and up until this moment as we speak, she has not received that car promise. Ivy. Oh, my queen. Please, forget about that girl. Why should I? Did you promise her a car? Yes, I did. But I didn't even mean it. I mean, why should I buy her a car? Is her local government headquarters made of gold? Responsible men do not make promises that they do not intend to fulfill, don't you think? My queen, are you by any means insinuating that I'm not a responsible man? I'm saying that you should do the needful. Your word should be your bond or no. You should buy her that car. Um, please, my queen. Don't involve yourself in this matter. I mean, why should I buy a car for a side chick? Because you promised. I know how much you and the elders in council make from the Akama Timba market. Buy her a car. I don't understand, my queen. Are you going to force me to buy the car? You will buy her a car. That is the beginning and the end of the conversation. Well, it's all right, uh, my queen, I've heard you. Is there any other thing you want to discuss with me? Nothing at all. In that case, I'd better take my leave. By all means, proceed. You are courageous, evil men fears you. You are courageous, evil men fears you. Baby, are you avoiding me? I've been calling you for the past couple of days. Why are you not picking my calls? There was no need picking your calls, and that's why I've not been taking them. Baby, don't tell me you're so angry with me because of that incident that happened between you and my father when you came to our house. Of course I am angry. As a matter of fact, being angry is an understatement. I am very much irritated. I'm sorry. It's oh. not about being sorry. Eh? It's not about being sorry. What did I ever do to your father to make him treat me that way? Baby, you know this is a road. We cannot be having such a conversation here. Why don't we go to your place? Let's it's go not, to your place and talk about it. There's nothing to talk about. What do you mean? Did you not see the way your father treated me that day? Eh? That, that was even the first time he was meeting me. Did I ever do, do anything wrong to him? Baby, I said I'm sorry now. Why are you so angry? That no. is in the past. We plan getting married, right? Of course. Then how do you think our marriage can hold if your father does not like me? Baby, don't worry. I'm going to make my father like you. You can take my word. That's why I'm pleading with you to be calm. You know, my, my father's behavior the other day was very much unlike him. I believe someone might have gotten him angry on his way back home. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I can't really say for sure though, but chances could be that someone got him upset. Because he's not always like that. He's a nice man and you find out with time. So, are you giving me your words that you're going to talk to him into liking me? For the maybe tenth time, even though I know I'm exaggerating. <laughs> I'm going to make him like it. I promise. You sure? Come on. I promise. So, can we now go to your place and talk? Why not? Look at you. You wanted me to come with you. <laughs> you know I'm hey! you. Oh, could you leave? <laughs> 
<laughs> you never miss a chance. Let's, 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 but you were you, you were you were doing shakara. Of course no. Of course no. Oh, 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 Yeah, come in. Come in, son. No, I miss. It is. Alpha. The coast is clear. The coast is clear. Yes, Majesty. You see, I can count on you always. That's good. Always, Your Majesty. Okay. I hope nobody followed you. No, 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 no. Not at all. Is it alright? Get the car ready. In 20 minutes time, we shall move. Alright, Your Majesty. Uh, Ozemina, come. Come. Your Majesty. Please. On no account should anyone hear about this. Did you get that? Yes, Your Majesty. My King, I know what is involved here. As well as the implications. Good. Good boy. 20 minutes time then. Just right. get the carriage. I'll be with you, Your Majesty. Ozema na onyang hazi. The most humble of servants. This guy is not coming again today. Huh? You requested to see me. I am here. Yes. I told you something the other time. You said you were going to get back to me. Up till now you have not said anything. What is it? Remind me. I told you that I love you and I want you to be my girlfriend. It is not going to be possible. Why? Because I love you. Why? I love you. <laughs> so I cannot be your girlfriend. Uh, come on, uh, Chica. It sounds crazy. Uh, you love me, yet you don't want to be my girlfriend. <laughs> Come on, what an irony. As crazy as it may sound, I love you. And I cannot be your girlfriend. Uh, Chica, um, I know you are joking. Yeah? Keep joke aside and face reality. Yes, it sounds like a joke. But I cannot be your girlfriend because I love you. Chica, please give me a chance. I promise to love and cherish you. Please. You really need to know when to stop. Even if you lie down on the floor, cry out blood from your eyes, there is nothing you or I can do about it. My love, please, is there anything I need to do for you to accept me? Absolutely nothing. I am doing this for the safety of your soul. What do you mean? I do not have time to explain things to you. Maybe when I do, I will let you know in details. For the safety of my soul.
believe me. Believe me. Hey, believe me. Now because of you, I need you. I need you for my family. Hey, believe me. Hey. Mama, this is why you're happy. I want to get it. I've never seen you this mood before. Tell me, break the good news. Did you, did you kill a little bit? I am oh, super hey. happy. My, my woman just left here. Hey. After making me happy. <laughs> You've seen how happy and excited you are okay. after making out with your woman. And you are busy with hunting my old woman. No, no. You don't call that witch hunting now. Huh? Don't call it witch hunting. I come yeah? make a jar. Eh? Oh, <laughs> things fall apart. <laughs> hey, leave that one for another day. By the way, you said there is something you wanted to tell me about the father of your girl. Ah, uh, yes. There was something I wanted to talk But you know, uh, it has been overtaken by events. Overtaken by which event? <laughs> Caterpillar or truck? <laughs> okay, tell me what happened. Give him an. Yes, yes. Give him an azun Hey, the thing I wanted to talk about is. My brother, you needed to have seen the way my girlfriend's father humiliated me the day I went to see my girl. Ah, the embarrassment was not here. If the man sinike. embarrassed the embarrassed the, 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 the hell out of me. Mark again, if I didn't see what happened? Do I know? Do I know? And what did you do? What could I have done? I had to just leave the place. Honestly, I was embarrassed. I was humiliated by that man. Oh, oh yes. So since the father of the girl that you wish to marry does not love you, what do you intend to do? Uh, I don't know. At first, I was very worried. You know, I was devastated to, 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 to say, but okay. my woman has uh, assured me that she's going to talk to her father into accepting me. Hey. So, um, so she can actually do that? Yeah, she assured me that she will. But then uh, there is no cause for alarm now. What are you now? Because here now, what are you for? But what has been bothering me is why did he treat me the way he treated me? Like that was the first time we were ever meeting. So why did so why that much hatred? Hey, hey, my man, don't disturb your brain looking for answer or cracking your head because of You know, the reason for his actions is not far fetched. That man thinks that every other man is like him. How do you know? Yeah. Is it that you've not had a woman that is busy gallivanting with uncountable side chicks? He has so many side chicks around him now. If you see where the are, movie looks like a bendy mozin and then they say, That old man. <laughs> I even heard that he doesn't give shishi. Yeah? I did shishi. I got as he That means there must be something else he's using to hold the girl, so. Perhaps, perhaps you understand. So, if my woman did come Malaya now, so that is what is happening to you here. Hi. Uh, but since your woman has come promised, sit down. Let me. I need to watch this to one because you want to you come and sit down. I don't down, know what down. is at the back of the level. Mama. You over there? Yeah, baby. I went to see Uncle Dilly. Oh, how is he doing? He's doing fine, Mama. What happened to him? <laughs> Papa happened to him. I don't understand. Mama, Uncle Dilly came here the other day and Papa abused the life out of him and asked him out. Why? He never stated his reasons. No, your father cannot do that. Mama, why would I lie against Papa? I have no reason to do that. As a matter of fact, I was very surprised. Wait a minute. Is your father aware that Okodiri wants to marry you? Not yet, because he did not even give him the chance to make known his intentions, which was one of the reasons he came. You see the problem with your father? Any man he sees around you, he believes that the man wants to exploit you and get away, because that's what he does. Which is a misjudgment of character, Mama. Because I have known Okudili for over two years. He's not the type to exploit my body and walk away. Now, let me tell you. Your father's attitude towards any man that comes around you might hinder you from getting married. God forbid. God forbid, Mama. I am not going to allow Papa ruin my relationship with Okudili. I will not allow that to happen. Ha! Come to think of it, Mama, this is the same reason Smart left me. Do you remember? Are you telling me? I know. Mama. Let's go and cook. What are you preparing? I want to make a red oil to love fresh. I hope you have done the spice, though, because every time now you'll just be waiting for me to do everything. 
So you want me to do it for you? Come on now. Hey, if you cook for me today, something happen. See, he already happen. wants me to go and do this thing for you. Ivy, your cheap blackmail of going to report me to the queen will not work. Trust me. You call it a blackmail? What else is it? Huh? What else? But what I can guarantee you is that you will fail. Oh no. You don't know who you are dealing with. Obviously. Who are you? Look at this girl. Who are you? Look, you are a daughter of nobody. Let me tell you. You are a daughter of nobody. Come. Were you really thinking that I will buy you a car? <laughs> huh? Oh no, I don't, honestly, I don't care. Whatever it is you planned, it's none of my business. All I know is, so long as you promised to buy me a car, you must, I mean must, buy me that car. Let that <laughs> sink into your head. Oh, you see, I, I just laugh. Anytime you, you talk threateningly, I, I laugh. What can you do? I must. Look at you. <laughs> oh no, a laugh is, is free. So you can laugh as much as you want. I don't care. So keep laughing. Mm. Yeah. Now, let me ask you a question. You small girl, like this, you are asking for a car. Can your father afford the wheel of a bicycle? <laughs> oh no. You can insult me, no problem. I'm going to take it. But you see, insulting my dad mm. is one thing I will not take from you. Oh, really? What will you do? No, no, no. If I, if I insult your father, what will you do? And I'm asking that question again. Can your father afford the wheel of a bicycle? You must be very stupid eh? for saying that. You heard me. Evie, what did you just call me? Stupid? Life and the right. In fact, you are the you are the most useless titled man I've ever seen in my whole life. Anyway, you will go scot free on this because um, today is my good. I have I'm in a good mood today, so I won't take offense on this. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is your business. Well, um. You will hear from me. Mm -hmm. No, you will hear from me. Get out of my car. Oh, God, get out. I'm no. always ready for you. Listen, no. let me tell you, I'm ready for you. I'm ready. Anyhow you want it, I'll give it to you. Uh -huh. Nonsense. I've read, get out. You poor church rat. Nonsense. Your father cannot afford shishi. You are here asking for a car. Idiot. Your father has no shishi. Shishi. You're asking for a car. Simply because you gave me what? Eh? Your local government headquarters, is it made of gold? Asking for a car, idiot. Just because I just want to use it. Do you know how many of these young chicks I, I, I deal with in a day? Idiot. If I give you 10,000 naira, you, you, you won't even you know, praise me for it. You won't thank me. Asking for a car, idiot. Hi. I suffer. I suffer. Whether you like them or not, you must bear. Right off, oh, mama, she said. He does say it, whether you like him or not. You must bear. You sound as if it's so bad. Is it about the law? <sighs> Women are suffering in this kingdom. Why do you say so? You will not believe what the know will have to say to me when he heard about the girl's claims. What did he say? He said, I should forget about that girl. <laughs> Is he that arrogant? Mm -hmm. I don't know him to be an arrogant man, but his response sure portrays him as an arrogant man in reality. <laughs> Men and their bloated egos. I mean, maybe because a woman is involved, he decided to be arrogant. You know how they are. Well, then he should be prepared for what is to come. 
because chances are he might not be able to stand it. You know, a lot of women in this town, not just this town, everywhere, suffer the same thing. These men use them and dump them at the end. They are helpless because they really do not know who to talk to, who to confide in, or who will speak for them. It's insane. It's really insane. Indeed. Now this is the reason I wanted you to be in on this with me. I knew you'd see reasons. I knew you'd see that we have a case to make. Mm. One question I want to ask is this. Will the king support you? Oh, please. I don't need his support. What I'm doing is my way of giving back to the women folk. And I will push this narrative even with the drop of my blood. I love your determination. But I just want to beg you one thing. What is it? Don't pull out when the heat is on. You sound as if you don't know me anymore. Whatever project I embark on, I relentlessly pursue till the aims and objectives for which I started are achieved. You can take that to the bank. I'm never backing down. Well, in that case, I assure you, I am in on this with you <laughs> to the end. Thank you. It's okay. Baby girl. Hey, what's up? I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> what's up now? What kept you for so long? My dear, the discussion turns into a heated argument. How? The fool is insisting on not buying me the car. Ivy, to me, I will suggest you forget about the car. Forget about him buying a car for you. Do you know who I know, based on what we have heard about him, we never buy you a car. Despite him being the second in command in Akama Kingdom, he hasn't even bought a car for his own wife. The poor lady is using one of his cars. So please, forget about it. <laughs> She's the one allowing him to play dumb with her. And honestly, it is not my business. It should be your business, because you need to know the kind of man you're dealing with. I don't care what manner of man he is. So long as he promised to buy me a car, he must buy me that car. I mean, must. The earlier you stopped deceiving yourself that he will buy a car for you, the better. Did I hear you just say I am deceiving myself? Yes. I'm sorry it sounds harsh, but it's what it is. I don't want to say much. Let's bet on this. He must buy me that car. <laughs> Can we bet? Ivy, I go chop you. I go marry a gogi. <laughs> what are you saying? Why, what is the need of betting with you when I know I will win you? He will never buy that car for you. Mm -hmm. Read my lips. You don't know me, that. Let's just take it. Let's take it. What do you need of making a strike that I know I'm win? <clears throat> Papa, he called me. Sit. Oh, <clears throat> uh, Beatrice. Papa. I'm going to go straight to the point, and I will be very, very ambiguous in what I'm going to say. Okay? okay. You see that young man. Whatever is going on between two of you, stop it immediately. Is that understood? But why, Papa? Shut up, I'm still talking. Then you ask me questions. She has every right to air her opinion no matter that concerns her. So don't tell her to shut up, no. Hey, quiet there, woman. Who, who, who asked you to, to join this discussion? You, you came in the first time. I actually wanted to send you back, but I just left you. Now you are going beyond your boundaries. I don't need to be invited before I could involve myself in a matter that has to do with my daughter. Kenny. Okay, anyway, I, I don't have your time. I don't have your time right now. 
Uh, Beatrice. Alpha. Like I said, end whatever you have in common with that young man. Never. Come, are you deaf? No. Eh? Are you Pat Johnson? You must comment on everything. I said you are not invited. If you know what is good for you, keep quiet. But Papa, there has to be a reason why you don't like this young man. Don't you think I deserve to know this reason? I am your father. I know what is good for you. So, the, the reason for what I am saying is best known to me. Well, um, All I am asking is just leave him alone. Is uh, that too much to ask? Yes, Papa. It is too much to ask. It is too much to ask because one, I don't know your reason. Two, I love him and he loves me, Papa. So then I cannot leave him. <laughs> God! Ne. Let's go and continue Thank you. <laughs> with the oh, cooking. Are, are you challenging me? Are you challenging me? I know we'll talk and handle. Call it whatever you like. All I'm saying is that you're not going to marry my daughter. Egania. Yeah. Yeah. This is what you have to say. Look, if it's a gang up here, it will not stand in this house. It will not stand. It's all right. <laughs> What is it? I am tired. But I need you. Can we discuss this in the morning, please? I'm tired, honestly. You realize this is the third week in a row you're resisting me. Oh, can we just have this discussion in the morning, no. please? No, 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 no. Let's have the discussion right now. Why? I don't know. It's you who should be doing the talking. What is going on? Like what? You tell me. Why are you resisting me? I don't think I have time for this. Like I said, let's have this, this discussion till morning. You do you realize that we still do not have any children? I've told you time and time now, but stop reminding me of this. I am not God that gives children. Please, let me be. Well, I have to remind you because if we continue like this with what you're doing, chances are we will end up childless. And the implication of it is that royalty will probably or most definitely move away from your lineage. I don't think I have time for unnecessary argument now. Please, I just want to have my rest. Where are you going? Please, let me be. They have suddenly changed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, I'm looking for the new clinic. Oh, okay. You passed it actually. You see the road over there? Yes. Yeah, just take it. When you get there, take your left. The building you see is the clinic. Okay, I should move down the road. The first entrance by my left. Right. Young man. What were you discussing with my daughter? Papa! Shut up! Am I asking you? I ask you again. What were you doing with my daughter? Hi. Nothing. Liar! You are lying. You think I didn't know? You are trying to ask her to, to come and visit you in your house. My That's God. not true. I was only asking for a direction. Exactly. You were asking for direction at the same time giving her direction to, to, to your house. Hi. I don't like this old man. Why are you embarrassing me? Oh. Thank God you know I'm an old man. And if I lay a curse on you, that curse will stick with you forever. Papa! 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 Papa, please. Papa! Why? Why, Papa? Why are you always embarrassing me? For crying out loud, this young man was asking me the clinic, the new clinic over there. And that was the direction I was giving to him before you came. 
Why are you doing this to me? Now, if you don't keep quiet, eh? If you don't keep quiet, you will regret the day you were born. So better keep quiet. Let me finish with this stupid man. Man, you, you, you listen to me. This girl is my precious daughter. And if you stay close to her again, if you don't stay away from her, eh? Oh God, you will regret it. In fact, I will so do with you. You will have me to contend with. Idiot, now get her from me. I don't have your time. Eh? I will advise you to respect your old age. Look at that. You are pointing your fingers and you want me to slap you, idiot. Did you hear him? Of course I heard him. And you brought it upon yourself. Papa, if you continue like this, you will attract more insults from people even younger than him. What is it? Are you the only one that has a daughter? Eh? You're talking to me. Hey, Papa, leave me. Get down. I'm begging. What is it? Are you the only one that has a daughter? Eh? Are you? Somebody cannot even have peace. Oh, so you're insulting me? I am not insulting you. You're insulting yourself, Papa. It is your father that is insulting himself. Who oh, is my father? Sorry, I'm the father. Oh. It is your mother that is insulting herself. Idiot. Can you imagine? It's all right. You will hear from me. You will hear from me. Hello, Ivy. <laughs> my queen. Greetings, my greetings. Mm -hmm. Sit, please. Thank you, my queen. My queen, I came to find out how it's going with your noble. Oh. The man is proving tough, but we will humble him. I can't wait for that to happen. It will happen soon. Okay, my queen. Can I ask if there are any other girls that you know currently going through the same situation as you? Mm, yeah, about five of them. Yeah. That's a reasonable number. Do you think you can assemble them all here before me at the palace for an interactive section? Very possible, my friend. Good. Of course. So how soon can we make that possible? It all depends on you, my queen. So, it's all about you. <laughs> I work from home. So anytime you people choose to visit the palace so that we can talk, I'll always be here. Okay, my queen. Okay, my queen. Uh, I think what we are going to do is this. I will go and tell them about the meeting. Then I will get back to you about whatever they say. That's a good one. Thank you. Listen to this. I want you to keep our meetings and our discussions really private. It is a secret that the male folk must not get to know of. Can you do that? Of course, my queen. I understand the importance of this, so I'm not going to blow it open. I promise. I'm counting on you. Now, why is your face like this? I don't know, Mama. I don't know how and where I wronged Papa for him to embarrass me at every given chance he gets. With no remorse whatsoever, Mama. Chalo, what did he do? He embarrassed me again. It was even worse today. He saw me discussing with a young man, Mama. He had no idea what we were talking about. He came down from his car and abused the life out of this young man. Mama, why does Papa treat me like Wait, this? Why is your father like this? I don't know. Why is he blocking your way? Eh? <sighs> Mama. I am beginning to think Papa sees me as a loose girl. Mm -mm. That is not the issue. That is what it is, Mama. If not, what other excuse does Papa have to continuously embarrass me in front of all the young men he sees me with? What, Mama? I know the problem. 
your father sees all men to be the same because he knows exactly what he does with girls behind closed doors so he's trying to prevent you from being a victim mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. hey. but mama oh, something will have to be done at this point because papa cannot continue to embarrass me like this mama i am tired how do you think I look in front of these young men? How do you... Don't let that bother you. Mama, how can it not bother me? You need okay. to have been there. It's okay. Let it not bother you. Eh? When he comes back, I'm going to have a discussion with him. No. Let it not bother you, Mom. Oh? Come. Hi. Where Take. are you going? I'm going for a meeting. Eh? Take care of the house. Hmm? <laughs> the dishes. Please wash them for me. The queen will soon be with you. That's okay. Um, is there anything I can catch for you? No, not at all. I'm good. Thank okay. you. Please do tell her that I'm still waiting. She's away. That's okay. Greetings, my queen. Greetings. Please sit. Thank you. I was told you want to see me. That's called it's my queen. Who are you? My name is Ndoka. I came to see you in respect of your good friend, Chiso. What about her? Your Majesty, I love her and I want to make her my wife. That's good news. I like good news. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am happy you're pleased with my intentions. Indeed, I'm pleased. Have you spoken to her? Uh, that's where the problem is, Your Majesty. I tried talking with her, but the chemistry she's putting up is not encouraging at all. Okay. I'll have you know that if you must involve me in this affair, you have to fill me in with details of all that has transpired between the both of you up until this very moment that you're involving me. Oh, for my has sick. What is keeping beauty? Huh? I told this girl the exact time to come to this place uh, and, and she's still wasting time. I've been drinking and, and waiting. Can you think of anything? Look at the time now. I do that. Oh, she's here. Yes! yes. Uh, uh, the, the door is open. <laughs> Hi! My That's peppermint. <laughs> My buttermint. Ew! Ew! Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Oh, go let them go. In fact, I'm no longer comfortable. Even. What about what? What do you call Very cautious or cool. On a composite. Okay. So. Hey, well, you kept me waiting there. Eh? Sorry, mm -hmm. I was busy with some things at home. Oh, 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 yeah. Calm down now. Uh -uh. Let me let me calm down first. I just entered. My body will make your body to calm down. 
My body is your eh? body coolant. Okay, okay. no problem. <laughs> Since that's the way you want it. <laughs> no, yeah, give me my money first. Beauty, why are you such in a terrible haste to call it money? See, Ichaika, I don't want stories that touch the heart. Be kokwa. Give me the money first. Beauty, you should know that I am a lover man. Eh? <laughs> I am not like that now. You should know that one. It seems you're not even understanding me. I mean, nothing can happen between the two of us here if you don't give me the money first. You think I'm joking? Uh, uh, you see, what I want to tell you now is just uh, something that you can use your brain to understand. I don't have cash. I don't even need your money. I don't need cash. Just wire it into my account. I have my phone here. Send it. Ozubo na, you're wasting my time. Hey, this thing I am trying to let you know is that my mobile app, you started developing problem all of a sudden. <laughs> so uh, uh, as soon as we are done here, I uh, will do POS to you. Uh, or possibly the uh, ATM at the, the bank at the village square. Uh, I will use my ATM and then assess uh, okay. some money and give to you. That one is not a problem. Are you now. done? <laughs> you are very funny. Don't worry, you don't even need to. I, I came prepared. I don't want to stress you. I have internal POS. Don't wait. I don't understand. Wait, I have Which it. Which one is internal POS? Chenu Godina. Wait. Oh, yeah. Hey! What is it? You have not seen POS machine before? Well, our camera is really on a new page. So you are prepared? Yes, so. I am fully prepared. See, me, I don't. I, I will block any avenue that will generate stories. So. You really think that I am not serious? Oh, okay. Let oh, me yeah. show you the Nobody card. Nobody made him. Let me show you the card. This is the card. It's not as if I. Give have... me. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Um, remind me the, the amount we, we, we talked about. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I told you I needed to change my wardrobe. And secondly, too. My phone is old, it's outdated. I need to change to a, a bigger yeah, one. You're not trouble. You see, go in, in, in the business. If I have a couple, what is the, the end? The end just by the means. Oh, the, the total okay. sum. No when, you're before, uh, in, uh, when you're in business, you do that. Uh, go in the can you go. 150,000 naira will do. Hey, 150,000 would have been enough to at least money to me. Is, is that too much for you? I'm, I'm bad. No, if you cannot do it, let me go. No, that's not what I'm saying. Stress. What I'm asking is this. So, Mbunye will have 50,000. Uzubo? Money for handbag for grant. Pay the money first, please. Don't stress me. Wait, see. Wait. Let me put the amount first. Okay. Put your. Don't. Use one hand, just put your oh, pin. Oh, okay, oh, that one is uh -huh. the easiest thing in the world. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my wife is calling me. Um, I mean, the, the PG of the local government. Um, hello, PG. I, I am in a serious okay, meeting right now. Uh, so when I finish the meeting, I will come to your own meeting. Uh, Biko. <laughs> my ATM card, oh. where, where is my ATM? I even forgot it's yours. Yeah, it was done, done. I thought you left it for me. No, it, to do what? Yeah. It's a little bump. I cannot kill you. You cannot kill me. I will, I will, I will. I will leave me. I, 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 to be very honest. Your, your girlfriend is, is tearing my heart apart. She's just breaking my heart. I don't know what else I'm going to do to make this girl believe that I really love her and that she's all that matters to me. What did she do again? Isa was now been calling her. She refused to pick my call. My phone will ring, 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 ring and she's just ignoring it. Why on earth? Who does that? She's not answering your calls. But why? Do I know? I don't have idea why she's not picking up. Eh? And it's not the first time, oh. It's okay. Don't let that bother you, okay? And I'm bothered already now. I am bothered. That's why I'm telling you now. I can no longer have her tolerate. I can no longer tolerate her like this. I mean, have her treat me like as if I, I don't mean anything to her. I mean, who, who does that? You know, for once, you just presented the truth. How do you mean? I mean, I'm glad you know she, she's not treating you as if you mean anything to her. That, that's the obvious truth now. 
I mean, I've been trying to hide it from people, but at this point now, I can no longer hide it. I mean, I have to speak up. You know, the man in you is beginning to come out, and I like it. But the question is, do you know why she's treating you like that? Do I know? Then you try and find out. How? How? Mm. Ask questions about her. Okay, like sometimes, mask a trail. Okay, and follow her up. I believe you'll be able to find out some things about her yourself. Nah, Angela, Angela, I'm not that kind of a person now. That's not my nature. I mean, I don't have time to go and start monitoring a woman, the monitoring what she's doing now, trailing her about as if I'm her personal bodyguard. Let no okay now. Is that what I will now say? Is that a handwork or a profession? Me and what I'm time for this guy thing now. In over time. But let me tell you, that's what you have to do. Okay? Yes, you have to find out about the woman you are about to settle down with. And yes, when you are done with your findings, just come back to me because we have a lot more to discuss on this. Yes. Angela, why is he appearing to me as if there is something that I need to know which you are not telling me? There is nothing. Just, I want you to do the findings yourself, okay? Arakan, I'm not joking. Do what I ask you to do. Angela, wait, so. You sounded so urgent on the phone. Yes. I hope all is well. All is well, my dear. Please sit. So, why were you sounding like that? Why? Sit down, please. Okay. I am seated. Talk to me. What is it? I want to start the conversation by asking you a question. Okay. I'm listening. Why did you decline Nduka's marriage proposal? Hey! <laughs> if you were not the queen of my land, I would have walked out on you right now. Are you telling me that you called me out of my house because of Unduka? A simple answer will be nice. If I had known this was about Unduka, I wouldn't have come here. Trust me. I know. And that's why I sounded the way I did. Well, tell Unduka that I am not interested. I'm not surprised. I knew you'd sound this way. Now that you have gotten the exact response that you were anticipating from me, can we discuss something else? Can I ask you another question? If it's about Ndoka, just believe me, I will not answer you. Why? Although this has nothing to do with Enzuka. It has everything to do with you. What is it? What is it with you and men? Why do you carry so much burden in your heart against men? Tell me about it. I do want to have that discussion. Why? Because I don't want to. Some words of advice for me will go a long way in fixing whatever line of thoughts that you have built over the years concerning men. What is this burden? Share it with me. I 
Beauty in one mama, if I get so boy, Beauty in one mama, if I get so boy, I will eat girl, if I get the young man, die. If I put in the open, I can never go bang in a real, I can never go bang in a real, I can never go bang in a real, I can never go no matter what in he chop You have to talk about it. For I see it is a burden you have carried on for too long. Please, don't make me do this. Can I tell you the truth? Freedom of any kind is not gotten on a platter of gold. There are battles one must fight to end freedom. I tell you this. What is about to happen is a battle you must fight for yourself. The truth is, I have already made up my mind that I would never, ever have any romantic dealings with any man again. Never. Are you happy with that decision? Yes. Yes, I am. I, I am happy. But your reactions betray you. You look to me like a woman who wants more from life in a family way. Yes, Anna. Please. Stop. You must let go of whatever hurt you encountered from a man in the past and move on with another man. No. Their sins are unforgivable. I can't. An unforgiving mind is a grave that you carry with you for the longest time. It's time to let go. It's time to let go. Okay. If you want me to talk to you, then I'll talk to you. That's what I want. But just know that I will never have anything to do with Indoka or any other man in this life. I will not do it. Well, you know what they say. Nothing except change is permanent in this world. Come here. There we are. <laughs> Make yourself very comfortable. No, 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 you can wear it. It doesn't matter. Oh my God. Your house is so beautiful. 
I, I don't think I've seen this kind of luxury in my life. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. And very soon, it will not just be my house, it will be our house. Our house, Kwa? Yes. Hey, I, I hope I can get used to this luxury. <laughs> I'm not sure. Of course you will. And um, tomorrow I'll take you shopping. Shopping? Why? Um, just to get a few things for you, so you can look like a proper city man. Ew. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't no, no, deserve no, no. you. Get up. I don't get deserve up. you. Get up. I will forever be indebted to you. Thank you so much. You don't have to make a big deal out of it. It's just my own little way of telling you and showing you that I love you. Oh, I love you with too. With all my heart. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Eh? God bless you. <laughs> you. Thank you. Let me show you to your room. <laughs> Let's go. Help me get a job on your behalf. Wow. And so far, they've given me very positive response. That's good. So, um, I'm sure one or two of them might come through very soon. Wow, that's very kind of you. I must appreciate everything that you've been doing so far. Thank you so much. And as regards to the job, I'm very, very sure that they'll call. They'll call. <laughs> I'm optimistic about it. Good. Very soon they'll come through. I just really call for a job. I can't <laughs> wait to start working. Ah! <laughs> Baby! Look at you! Hi! Hi! Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me you were coming. Uh -uh. I just wanted to catch you the way I just did. Catch me doing what? <laughs> How? As in, I don't understand. <clears throat> On this. <laughs> don't mind me. That's how we communicate. It's okay. Ooh. I'm so glad to see you. Same here. It's been a while. Yeah. So, <laughs> with he. <laughs> well, this is my guy, Sonny. And babe, this is my bestie, Cynthia. Wow. And Cynthia is very naughty. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You're welcome to our home. Hey. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm not naughty. Mm -mm. Well, let me be the judge of that. It will take an eternity. Well, we'll find out soon. Um, so, should I get a glass for you? Um... I came with business, so business first. Please, you know how I love business. <laughs> Please hit me with it. I think we should have it to our side. You like secrets too much. I oh, think come, come, you come, like come, secrets. Come, come. come let ah. me tell you, you would love this one. I'll be right it's back. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing? I don't understand you. You're not supposed to have anything to do with a man after what Ibebunam did to you. Not at this moment. My life will not come to an end because Ibebunam did not treat me well. Hmm? And I haven't said your life should come to an end. All I'm saying is give yourself some time. I mean, heal properly before venturing into another relationship. I know what you're trying to say. But, girlfriend, trust me. This one is very different. Very different. Really? <laughs> yes. So tell me more about him. Um, I, um, I just met him, so I really don't know much about him. You just met him? <laughs> You really don't know much about him. And you're in a relationship with him. Come on, baby girl, don't do this to yourself. I have learned my lessons. It will not happen again. Hmm? 
from all indication. I see that you're ready to date this guy and I will not stop you. But please, make good use of your head. I will. So, what does he do for a living? Um, nothing at the moment. Just at the moment, but I am trying to get a job for him. <laughs> Chisun, hmm? I see that you are yet to experience the same thing you did with Lebuna. God forbid. God forbid it will not happen. Never. Ah, never. Will. Well, if you say so, hmm. let's go and have that drink. Huh. Can't you stay without drinking? <laughs> this life we only live once and today is a free day for me so let's go and drink up <laughs> all right <laughs> so the business oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to miss you. <laughs> I feel the same way, honestly. I've started missing you already. Oh. But it's okay. I mean, it's just a few days' journey. And I'll soon be back. Hmm? Okay, okay. See, promise me that those boys in Lagos will not approach you. <laughs> Did you just say that to me? How? You're so funny. <laughs> okay, fine. If anybody approaches me or as much as looks at me, I am going to tell the person that I am already taken. Good. <sighs> now, my mind is calm. <laughs> it's okay, please. I don't want to miss my flight. Shall we? Okay. All right. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Don't miss Do this here in her bedroom. It doesn't matter. Eh? Let's get down to business, please. Eh? To me, it mm? does. It doesn't Hold matter. Hold on, calm down. What is it? You need to get me something strong to drink. Why is that? It will put me in my mood. Wow. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Just sit down. Hold on. I'll be back. I'm eh? waiting. I know it's empty to bring. I'll take off my shoes. Cool. <laughs> You're here already. I know what exactly to do. <laughs> one for you, one for me. Of course. There you go. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> this is it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you like it though? I love it. Good. I love it. Good, good. I hope you're ready for what's coming. Of course I'm ready. See, Mr. Rod is ready to do wonder. He has been nodding. Let's get back to business. Okay? <laughs>
forgive me. It's the devil's work, please. <laughs> the devil has nothing to do with this. You did this out of your own free will and lust. It was your friend. She seduced me. Now I know you're a chronic liar. I'm not lying. It was your friend. She, it was, she was the one coming out to me. Really? You came for my friend and she told me about it. Why are you lying? No, she came to the house and she, she undressed herself and, and I jumped, I jumped into her but, but she was the one that came into me. You should be blaming her, not me. You are still lying. No, no. Lying is the last thing I would do to you now, to, to say to you now, please. Yes, that's exactly what you're doing. That is exactly what you're doing. You are lying to me. Look, I, I don't understand. Are you trying to play on my intelligence or what? No, oh, okay, no, okay, no. okay, okay. No. You're not lying, right? You're not lying. Just wait. Just wait a minute. My God. Look at this. What is this? Are these not your chats with my friend? I even heard your conversation. Your phone conversation with my friend the night before I traveled. How? Yeah, she's asleep. We can talk with him too. So how do we see now? She says she's traveling, but I don't know the actual date. So why don't you come when she has gone now? So you we spend some quality time together. Then you can leave when she's almost when she's done and she's coming back. Baby, don't worry. I, I will do everything to prove I love you. Don't worry. Okay? Just not she leaves, I'll call you so you can, yeah? So we'll spend some quality time together. Don't worry, babe. I love you. Just come. Let's spend some quality time together, okay? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out when you come. Okay? I have to go now. I have to go now, okay? Eh? I have to go now, okay? Bye. Now let me shock you. There was no traveling arrangement. Really? I only did that so that I can catch you in the act, just like I did. Hi. You know, Hi. you are an embarrassment. No, no, please. Even when my friend told me that you were disturbing her, I thought she was lying. I even vowed for you. I told her that there is no way in this life you are going to betray the love I have for you. Please. You know what she said? I should stake one million naira. And she showed me your charts. That was when I decided to play the game. You are shameless. You are shameless. God. Be please. Please. It's the devil's work, please. Please forgive me. If you send me anywhere, I don't have anywhere to go, please. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Oh, please, babe, please. You blew it please. and that is how it is going to stay. Please, please, Get I'm begging out. you, please. No, 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 I don't have anywhere to go. So, enough of the tears. It won't solve the problem. I loved him. I loved him so much. I know. It's unfortunate that he does not love you. Why me? Why me? Why me? Why is my own always different? Why? Why me? It's okay. Don't do this to yourself. It's okay. But I told you and you did not listen. Now see where you are. He told me he was different. He convinced me into loving him. He made me see reasons... Reasons... To trust him. Chisom, at your level in life, 
You shouldn't believe everything a man tells you. But I can't keep living my life without a man in it. I can't do it. I know. And that's why I told you to do what I did. Uh, listen, that it worked for you doesn't mean it will work for me. It's a general principle. It can work for anybody. I don't think so. No. It's the truth. Just give it a trial. Okay. I'll try. But something in me tells me it will not work for me. Jisum, the only thing telling you it will not work for you is fear. I mean, what's there in telling a man that you're not ready to have sex with him until after marriage? You know, it sounds so easy when you say it, but in reality, it is not. I mean, a lot of men will not take it. Well, any man who does not accept it does not love you. Wow. That was very bad of him. Now you see why I said it is over between me and men. Well, in life, one only fails when they fail to try again and again. I am done. I am done with men and that is final. You mentioned Ibi Ebulami in your story. Tell me about him. <laughs> That one is, is a greater evil, if not the greatest. I want to know more about him. You are making me discuss things I vowed never to talk about again. Chisom, you still don't get it. What we are having right now is a healing process. And healing cannot take place except you are completely open to me. That is not supposed to be part of our friendship, you know. It is what friendship is about. Inconveniencing each other and dragging one another out of our comfort zones. <laughs> exactly what you have done to me. You have really dragged me out of my comfort zone. Speak to me already. You picked my call. Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Why? Um, your phone rang more than five times. So I picked to tell the caller to call you back since you were not close to your phone. Who asked you to touch my phone? Huh? But I just told you your phone rang more than five times. I thought it was something important, so I had to pick. Wait. Have I not warned you never to touch my phone again? Have I not? Yes, you have. So? I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Now listen, the next time you will touch my phone again, I will make sure you regret it. What is so special about your phone that you don't want me to go near it? Are you hiding something? What kind of stupid question is that? Hmm? I'm asking you! What kind of stupid question is that? Mba kwao. Using abusive words on me is what I will not take. Mba! Ah. Uh -uh. Are you okay? Why are you using abusive words on me? You dare talk back at me? Are you mad or what? I don't understand. What? Are you mad? Huh? Are you mad? Huh? How dare you? How dare you? You slapped me! You are still talking. No, I'm still talking. Still talking.
I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I guess I overreacted. Why do you keep doing this? Why? I didn't mean to hurt you again. I'm sorry. I promise you it will not happen again. That was the same thing you said last week after hitting me. And to be honest with you, I didn't know what came over me today. Okay? But believe me when I say I'm sorry. Please. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry, okay? Sorry for causing you pain. It's okay. And I love you. I really do. Okay? So, who is she? Who? The girl that called you on the phone. Forget about her. I wish I can. Then that is your problem, if you can't forget about her. You are cheating on me, right? I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I did not speak in parables. On the contrary, I don't know. What does she have that I don't have? Listen, I don't have time for this. She's I just came in here to be a nice person. I just came in here to apologize to you. As a matter of fact, I was trying to be a nice guy by apologizing to you. But I guess you don't want it. I don't have time for this. Did this to you? Please lower your voice. Why would I lower my voice? Please. Just look at you. Oh God. Uh huh. Yes, I did it. What will you do? Ibe, you are a disgrace to manhood. You are a shame to humanity. Is, 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 is this how men treat women? What I will not take from you is to walk into this house to insult me. Do you hear me? I will not take that from you. What will you do, Ibe? What will you do? Hit me? <laughs> I'm glad you know what I can do. I'm glad you know me too well. So better watch your tongue. Watch it, woman. <laughs> Ibe, you dare not. You dare not because I swear to God who made me. Try it and you will rot in jail. Hey, it's okay. Jesus, it's not okay. It's not okay. If he was his younger sister, someone did this thing to, would he be happy? Tell me! Cynthia or whatever they call you, can you please explain to me, how does this concern you? Huh? How does this concern you? How it concerns me. You want to know how it concerns me? Chisom here is my friend. And I will not watch you humiliate her all in the name of relationship. Who does that? I will advise you you leave this house and go and mind your own relationship. Like this is your house? Mind your business. Like this woman. is your house? I say mind your business. Ibe, you are the most ungrateful human being on the face of the earth. A woman who feeds you, clothes you, shelters you. And all she gets is appreciation is you beating her up. Who does that? It's not your fault. Cannot be my fault. It's not your fault at all. Chisum. So you brought this thing into this house. What do you call a thing? To insult me. That's of your house. I will leave. Oh, please leave already. If that's what you want, 
I will leave. But you, you see her face. If you don't want me to restructure your face, <laughs> huh? You better watch it. Watch your tongue. That's the worst you can do. Sorry. That's the worst you can do. That's the best you, don't you can watch do. Your tongue, That's the best huh? you can do. If you don't watch don't your tongue, don't point your finger at me. If, if you don't watch if your you tongue, don't touch me. If you cannot talk, I will speak for you. What is it? I will speak like this. Watch your is tongue. Is that how they brush you up? Is that how your father beat your mother up? What's wrong with you? It's high time someone spoke to him. Spoke some sense into him. What's your problem, Chiso? Let him kill two of us. I will die with you. What is it? What is it? <laughs> I know, I know. But well, that's what you keep saying. <laughs> okay. Okay, so when are you coming? <laughs> Who are you talking to on the phone? Um, I'll call you back, okay? Um, when did you get here? You must be very stupid. I overheard your voice from inside. You are busy laughing, smiling. I ask you again, who are you talking to on the phone? I don't understand. You don't understand? No, I don't understand what you're saying. You don't understand, right? You don't... Ah! Who are you talking to on the phone? You better start talking now. Who do you think I was talking to? You must be very stupid. Ah! You must be very ah! stupid. Answering my question, the ah! question. I repeat again. Ah! Who are you talking to on the phone? Ah! My kid brother. I was Liar. talking to my kid brother. Liar. You can check the phone. The phone is already broken. You so you better say the truth you now. You better start talking. You are... Who are you talking to on the ah! phone? Ah! You don't have to talk. Ah! Huh? Ah! You are acting up, huh? <laughs> Keep that you better stand up, oh. Good afternoon, dear. Good afternoon. How did it go? Um. What's that? My lab result. Nothing stops you from telling me the content of the letter. I am pregnant. Six weeks. Why? What do you mean by why? We did not agree you should get pregnant. But there is no need for any form of agreement. I mean, since we live under the same roof and we sleep on the same bed, if you ask me, let's just do our traditional marriage, since we're already engaged. When I give birth, we can now plan for the white one. You and who? What sort of question is that? Listen, I am not ready to father a child. Do you hear me? So you have to get rid of this thing. You just didn't say that to me. Of course I did. And you must get rid of this thing before Friday. If actually you're pregnant, that is three days from today. Do you hear me? Okay? It's a lie. He didn't say that. He did. What kind of a man is he? I honestly do not know. Eh? After having four abortions, he wants you to have more? That is what baffles me, as in the total disregard for my health and my life. I don't... Hmm. Chisong, are you going to do it? Jason, please, don't do it. The owner of the child does not want it. Who 
am I keeping it for? Even if he doesn't want it now, certainly he would want it tomorrow. No. No. I'm going through with it. Jesus, I'm having a fifth abortion will expose you to health risk. Don't worry. I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll meet a, a, a professional doctor this time around. Is this guy using some kind of chance on you? No. No. Well, I think he's using some kind of charm on you because I don't get it. After four? You want to do another one? It is done. What's that? The abortion. Good for you. The doctor said this should be my last abortion. Why? He said my womb is weak and no abortions will just expose me to health risk. Health risk, like I might not be able to carry another fetus. I've heard you. Me. What does it look like I'm doing? You're packing your clothes. For the very first time in your life, you guess things right. Nice one. Are you traveling? No. So why are you packing your clothes? Because I'm leaving. I don't understand. Leaving to where? I'm walking out. As a matter of fact, this relationship is over. Why? Because I cannot afford to marry my fellow man in the arrest for job. What do you mean by that? You ask too many stupid questions and I don't like it. Please, just put me through for the benefit of the doubt. All right, fine. I'll put it through. According to the results you brought, doctor said your chances of getting pregnant is at risk, isn't it? Is that why you're leaving? Yes. Like I said, I cannot afford to marry my fellow man. So who put me? Who put my womb at risk? You did. Excuse me. Yes, you did. If not that you are stupid, you not allow yourself to get pregnant at every slightest intercourse. Ibe, why, why, why are you, why are you always mean to me? Did I do anything wrong by loving you? Why? Listen, this your crocodile tears cannot salvage this situation. I have made up my mind and I'm leaving. Okay? I stand here and cry all day. for good, okay? No. 
on this particular one, I have you to blame. Why? The signs were there. How can you fall for a woman bitter? I loved him. Oh God, that makes me sick whenever I hear it. Which human being professes love for a bully? You ought to have left that relationship from the first time it showed the signs. But my love for him blinded me and I didn't even notice that he was not in love with me. Well, the deed is done. It's now time for you to chart a new course in your life. I will never have anything to do with any man again. I will never again give any man a chance to hurt me. I will not do it. Well, in the time, my opinion is different. Same thing I said about Sonny. And look how it ended. Okay. Let us leave this discussion for another day. For now, I want us to strategize on how to handle the extramarital relationships of our men. Better still, we need to strategize on how to get them committed to these women that they lure into their beds. Okay, so how do you want it? What do you want? I have it all written down. I forward them to you. When you're done reading, you can share your thoughts with me. Fine. I can't wait. What is good in the afternoon? Huh? Keep your greetings to yourself. Wait, are we quarreling? Oh. What happened now? You are pretending as if you don't know that we are quarreling, right? I don't know. Now. Why did you report me to the king? The king is your friend. That's the reason I reported you to him. Or would you prefer I report you to your king's men? You dare not try that. You dare not. Now let me warn you. This should be the last time you will report me to the king or anybody. Report me to anybody. And you see what I will do to you. Anything you see, you take. I don't even want to battle with you. And if you don't want me to report you to the king or to your king's men, don't try that rubbish with those girls again. If you try it, <laughs> it's alright. Mm. Try it again. Go ahead and report, and you see what I will do to you. Anything you see, you take. If you are hungry, tell me I bring your food. Hmm? I should not report you to the king. Then behave yourself. Hmm? You're lucky. I reported you to the king. Next time, say to your case, man. You want that to see me? Hope what is wrong? Yes. Thank God. So, why do you request to see me? I am not interested in anything you are proposing. I cannot be clearer than this. You sound angry. So why are you ordering me to stop making advances at the woman I love? So your idea of making advances is going to discuss me with the Queen? I am sorry if my move got you offended. Listen. I did that because she's your best friend. Forget the idea of getting married to me. Forget it. It will not happen. Even the Queen will not change my mind about how I feel about men and what I think about them. I understand, Chisumu. But I tell you something. 
I am a different person. I also understand that you've been hurt by men in the past. Permit me to heal those wounds. I have not come for friendship, but to make you my wife. I am not interested. I am not interested. Don't you get it? But I love you. I don't love you. And I will never love you. So please, stop disturbing me. Don't do it again. I beg of you. But we can work things out. I'm a different person. Because I love you. You cannot love me. Why? I belong to another man. Who is that man? You do not need to know because it is not necessary. There is serious need for that. Are you sure? Yes. Who is that man? Where are you now? Eh? Eh, this is night. <laughs> Am I supposed to be there permanently? This is my house. I can decide to be anywhere. And right now, I have decided to be here. So what is your problem? I want us to talk. Mama Beatrice, not now. Why? As you can see, I'm prepared for a meeting. As a matter of fact, I'm running late. Don't worry. I won't waste your time. Mm. Then speak. Oh no, Utokanando, why are you doing this to our daughter? You heard me. What am I doing to our daughter? I mean, why are you chasing men away from her? Are you going to marry her? I am disappointed in you. I know you will be disappointed in me for saying the truth. Yes, but let me tell you, one of those men you are chasing away from our daughter will definitely marry her. So allow her to socialize. Oh no, allow my daughter to socialize. Allow my daughter to socialize. Can you hear yourself? Idiot. <laughs> I don't want to talk, Ananda. You think my daughter is as loose as his father? Ah, uh, I'm Korea. What did you just say? <laughs> you heard me very well. So is there any need repeating myself? 
For the records, know that whatever I am doing now is for our best interest. With time, you will appreciate me I for appreciate it. I appreciate you for waiting. For what? Let me tell you if you don't know. You're acting like a proverbial killer who does not allow anyone with a sword go behind him. That's exactly what you're doing, Makanobuma. Adekwe Kamagayanaso. Like I said, mm. with time, you will appreciate me. Fuck, let me tell you, don't try it next time, oh. Don't try that on this again because if you do it, eh, you are a prayer. You are a prayer that what you can get. Pium, 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 mano. Because you are pium, 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 you think my daughter is like you. Because you are loose, you go for anything on that skirt and blouse. Anything mono or gown, you pium, pium. Try it next time. You know the stuff I made of. Can you like a boy in car? When you're pure, I shall walk it. Or no, what you're going on, no, what you're going on, or no, we're going on a puddle skate. Hi. Okay. Oh, my God. What are you doing here? Eh? I guess you thought I was joking, right? You are not supposed to come here now. Is it not about the car? Eh? Oh yeah, go inside, go inside. Go inside the car. What is happening? One of Papa's side chicks came to see him right here in our house, Mama. It is not a lie. I am telling you what is happening out there. Here in the compound. I couldn't believe my eyes. Come on, Mama. Mama. What? Where is she? Uh -oh. Where are they now? Where are they? Mama? I really saw them. I saw them, Mama. I did. Beatrice, were you sleeping? Huh? Because it's very obvious you were dreaming and upon waking up, you thought it's reality. No, Mama, I was not dreaming. Please don't think I'm crazy. Mama, I... I saw them with my hey, own listen, two eyes. Listen, listen. They were even arguing, Mama. I... I saw them here now. Next time, Beatrice, before you give me this kind of information, verify very well, dreamer. Mama, I'm not, I'm not making things up. I. Yes. Ab, my love, mm -hmm. the sweetest girl I have ever been. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. This is my shop today. What can I do for you? Lots of things, dear. A lot. All right, bring it on. <sighs> Why have you been avoiding me? <laughs> because you don't bring light anymore, and light and darkness have nothing in common. <laughs> Ab, Ab. Do I work with the electricity company? Oh, come off it, chief. 
Why are you pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about? It looks like the men in Akama don't pay their side chicks anymore. You lie there. You lie there. It's only you know who that doesn't pay. Every other man, you see, Ichi Aika pays. Is it a kidding? And I do pay, B. I do pay. Chief, I am talking out of experience. You do pay. The last time I was with you, how much did you give me? You gave me nothing less than peanuts. And see, coupled with the embarrassment your wife and your daughter cost me. See, A.B., that period I was fighting lots of battles. As in financial battle. But as we speak now, I assure you I'm back on my feet. See, about my wife and daughter, don't just forget them. They are now under control because they would never trouble you anymore. Never ever. I assure you that. I hope so, Chief. I hope it plays out exactly as you have said it. Yeah, uh, uh, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Okay. So, how do you want it? Um, uh, we can just enter my own house one. You just say, we'll have one, eh? and later we continue in my hotel room in the night. I don't understand. What do you mean? Take what here? Where? Maybe my love, always very strict. I love that though. Thank you. But don't suggest that next time. You're welcome there. You're welcome. So, um, it will be later in the night. Yes, later. Maybe please. Do not disappoint me. Chief, I've heard you. I won't disappoint you. I will see you. Okay. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> Look at him. Old fool. No, after everything your wife and daughter has done to me, you want me to open my leg again. Let me jay so that you will enter. This bless man. A lot on your mind, I guess. How do you know I'm here? I saw you walking. So, it is true. How do you mean? Never mind. I had a dream last night. The man who fought and nearly killed you in the dream is my man. Huh? You know about my dream? Yes, Izu, I love you, and that is why I cannot teach you. Who is that guy that fought me in my dream? I just told you he is my man. That guy? You are man? Ha! I am lost. <sighs> he is my spiritual husband. But I don't love him. Izu, you are the one that I love. If I date you, he will kill you. Because I truly love you. I don't want to put your life in danger. That is why I will not date you. Iwo Obanje. Yes, Obanje Iwo. All of you are calling me Obanje. Izu, stop using a word you do not know the meaning. If you're not a banji, what are you? What are you if you're not a banji? I am not an banji. Listen, we are told it is only an banji that has a spiritual husband. I am not an banji. I would have preferred if I were a Okay. 
if you are not a banjo, then what are you? I'll stay for another day. Talk to me. Don't you see me as a friend? Take me as your brother. Yes, talk to me. I may be of help. He's coming. Who is coming? He hates it when another man is getting intimate with me. You don't have to. That man? Which direction is he coming from? Is he, which direction? <laughs> She be trouble the sleep. In younger go wake up. The day they are on no judge, you go meet them. Come the promise them. Heaven on earth. Alvin, what was that? Eh? Do you have to come to my house? <laughs> what, what were you trying to achieve? You already know why. So stop asking me. Okay, suppose my wife had met you. Huh? I would have told her everything, of course, and told I would have even went as far as telling the entire community, mm? so they get to know the kind of man you are. Really? Of course. So you want to ruin my reputation as you know who of this great kingdom? What, what would you gain from that? Huh? Oh no, the problem I have with you is that you think I don't know. It's like you think I'm joking. Listen, what you saw today is just. A tip of an iceberg. Mm -hmm. It was just a rehearsal. Uh -huh. We are going to see my real self the next time I come. Well, uh, it's alright. Uh, is it not about the car? Eh? Don't worry, I'll buy the car for you. Then get it already. Okay, what brand do you want? <laughs> Now you're talking. <laughs> well, get me any good car, you know, any good car for a baby girl like me, you know? You know what I like now? It's alright. Um, you will get it by the weekend. Oh no. Right. Let your weekend be your weekend. Let your weekend be your weekend. It's okay. Because the next time I'll come to your house, hmm? Hey, I will show you the stuff I'm made of. You don't need to threaten me, okay? You will get it. After that, we'll talk more. Alright? Okay. I'm always open for discussion. Okay, good. You may leave. Okay. Mm, I'll be waiting. Mm? I'll be waiting. What does this girl want? Eh? Suppose my wife or my daughter had seen her. Okay. Is it alright? Is it not car? I will buy her the car so that I know that uh, her problem is off my neck. Uh -uh. I can see you are all prepared for the birthday party already. Yes, 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 your yes, 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 yes. Where is the queen? She will soon join us. Did you inform her of this before now? Yes, your majesty. You have to go back and remind her. It is possible that she must have forgotten. Okay? Okay, your majesty. Quickly, quickly. Be fast about that. It is Akudo's birthday party. Yeah, we choose this day to mark her birthday because of the wonderful things she has done in this palace. Just to compensate her. Really? So why wasn't I in the know this whole time? Don't worry, uh, I'm sorry, I will explain that later. Let us just consummate this particular moment. 
Ah, here comes the big day. Highness, Your Majesty, happy birthday. Thank you. Can we now celebrate her? Please, step forward. Okay. <clears throat> Who oh, oh, spell your name? At the end of uh, spelling your name, which starts with O, um, you will cut the cake. So, shall we go? Okay. We'll start with the letter A. A K U D What is happening? I mean, why are you, you know, wearing this sad face? I hope all is well. The question that should be asked here is, what were you doing with my girl in that hotel? Oh, excuse me, wait a minute. So, this drama is because of ordinary guy blocking the village road it's because of a guy that is not your wife. Is that what you want me to understand? You call my special girl ordinary. No, Aika, you opened your dirty mouth and called my girl ordinary girl. Do you know who that girl is? Do you know how special that girl is to me? Don't ever try it again. Don't ever call her an ordinary girl. Is that understood? Oh, this is serious. I, I thought you were about to say something that will attract me. But I've seen you. You are not interested to say something that is reasonable. Could you please take this patrol burner out of the way so that I can peaceably move? Please. What? No, 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 no. What did you call my car? Are what name did you call my Range Rover Sport? Are you moving it or you want to see that Aika in me? I mean, how can Ono Wu of Akama be doing this in Akama. Blocking the village road because of one, 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 she a little guy that is not your wife. Hey, bia, 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 bia. Aika, do, do, spare me that sentiment. Don't try to calm me down. Huh? Yes, spare me that sentiment. Stay away from my girl. Stay away from my special girl. If not, what I will do to you, eh? What I will do? As a matter of fact, I will dig your grave, I will carry you alive, put you inside, and bury you. Oh. So stay away from her. You know what? Oh, no, what talk and do your worst. In fact, go to hell. And when you are ready to go to hell, let me know so that I will call the gatekeeper there so that you move freely and enter without stress. Are you okay? Yes. You! You! Threatening me! Don't worry. I am coming for you. Be prepared. Now the battle line is drawn. Be prepared. No, 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 no. I will deal with Let you. me tell you something. I have been trying to avoid that girl all along. But because of this useless taunt that you have pulled over here, I am going to renew all my activities with that girl and bet me. I will get her pregnant and she'll give yes. me. You will do what? I will do that. You will get my girl pregnant. Are you trying me? Then be prepared to die. 
Be prepared to die. I will kill you. You are dead in me. It's all right. No, no, no. We shall see. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, talk now. We shall see. You are threatening me because of ordinary girl that is not your wife. Is that what you are letting me know? You are making that threat to me. I, I can't. Make it more. Look at someone who caught himself in love. Making that threat to me. I can't make it more. Look, 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 look at this. Hey! This man I'm running a joke. Don't worry. Oh, you think I am wearing red and red for nothing? I don't need visa to travel to anywhere I want to go. If you don't know. Look at this man. Don't worry. I, I made a mistake. I would have used my car to pull off that canoe you call a car. Don't worry. Next time, I'll show you why. Eze Akalugu of Akama Kingdom. What is the meaning of what I just witnessed? I celebrated Akudo's birthday because of her effort in my palace. And you had to personally get involved? In all your splendor, Eze Akalugo. My queen, I do not underrate anybody. I don't look down on anybody. Yes, she's a maid, but she deserves every right to be happy. So I celebrated her birthday. Just that, that nothing else. Why then was I not in the know the whole time? It was not planned, my queen. I got to know about the birthday, so I just gave instructions to my palace workers and the rest is history. They did the rest. Hmm. Your Highness. Is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? Something that Queen Asana of Akama would like to know. There is nothing Queen Asana of her Akama Kingdom needs to know. I just celebrated Akuda's birthday because of her hard work in this palace and there is nothing more than that. Hmm. Are you now telling me that you have created an order where the workers' birthday celebrations will hold perpetually in this palace? I did not say that, my queen. But I know that every diligent worker in my palace needs to be celebrated. Yes, but again, it has to be according to the leading of my spirit. I work with my mindset. I am the queen. I know all of them. I see them all. I know all the workers I know who deserves to be celebrated and who does not. It is obvious from what you say right now that I have not been able to decipher her effort in my palace. Very obvious. Like I said, I know all of them. I see them. I know who is capable and who is performing on that capacity. Can we discontinue with this discussion? Akudo is too insignificant to dominate the headlines of my royal heads. Like I said, I know all of them. I know who deserves to be celebrated. I know who does not deserve to be celebrated. And you, my king, have no business with the maid. Can we stop this? You get into my nerves. I said Akudo is too insignificant to dominate the headlines of the royal head. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Sorry to say this. It is. The king go down with Akudo. How? Shh. Why your voice? What is the truth? How come the king of Akama do this? The king of Akama? As in, he's not human being or what? What I am saying is, the dog is not expected to eat a bone hanging around its neck. There is nothing wrong with this. I mean, I see it differently. It's her luck. Had it been I knew that the king can touch a maiden, I would have seduced him long ago. 
I still have my doubts. How do you mean? None of us has seen Akudo and the king together. And besides, Akudo never mentioned it to any of us. <sighs> Izu, you call us out here, so what is it you want to tell us? Talk now, you are doing um, 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 is the, uh, is the talk inside that um, what talk? Go ahead, we are listening. Okay. I used to hear stories about such things. I never knew. It is true. What story? Just tell us the story now. We don't know the story. You are supposed to tell us the story. You are telling us you never true to speak. So to you. Say it. Oh, okay. Let me start from the dream that I had. Yeah. From there, I will connect to what I'm about to tell you guys. Izun, the problem with you is that you dream a lot. And I don't like it. That's the only problem you have. You dream. Today you dream. Tomorrow you dream. Um, um, Abushi, Abushi, let's calm down. Look at his face. Look at his face now. As we are looking at this guy's face now, both of us know. And we are very sure that he has something very important to tell us. He can never, ever in his life be serious. He has nothing good to tell us. Don't you know that Akudo is very secretive? You don't need to see them together before you could decode that something is happening between them. Akudo must be feeling like the winner of the World Cup now. Exactly! Adiko. Izu, go ahead, what is it? Izu? Yes? And you are coming. I'm coming. Come. come. You come. My guy. This girl is not normal. Have you noticed it too? <sighs> she behaves like someone who is under the influence of some spiritual powers. This girl must be possessed. It's very obvious that this girl accepted Izu for a date. It's obvious. I don't need to argue with you. Yes. There's something going on between two of them. But did you see her beauty? This girl is so sweet, and I'm very sure that she's going to be good in bed. Look at the waist. The party and I analyze. The doorway of man. A pianya pianya. No zier. You see the one looking at you. You don't have sense. Is your mind so corrupt? I don't understand. I don't blame you, I blame myself. Abushi, you know me very well that I don't take chances. When you see beautiful things, go for it. Grab it, take it. But you so. In a lot of fun, make the yana a poor. So I got you. Where's the game? Mr. Chance Taker. Mr. Boutier. Mr. Koya. Idiot. Mr. Koya. Abushi. That is the own philosophy. You are the next one. Abushi! What do you think you're doing? I don't understand. You want to tell your friends about your experience with my spiritual husband, right? Yes, I wanted to do that. But how do you know? <laughs> Izu, I have my eyes on you. And no man one of you, man. It's meant to learn about my true identity. Through you. Unless you want to put yourself in danger. You are threatening me. It is not a threat. It is a promise that will come to fulfillment. Should anyone, born of you, man, learn about my true identity through you. Unless you want to put yourself in danger. Uh, 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 Chica. You shouldn't have told me this shit from the beginning. I am not good in keeping secret. Not to talk of this one that is scary. But I love you, Isu. Chica, please. Honestly, I do not love you again. Because you are actually very, very scary. I know you still love me. But it's the fear that is not letting you say so. 
but I know the love is still there. Let me tell you the truth, Chica. Mamma I can't do this. The love and feeling I have for you died the day I discovered you are deeply involved with the spirit being. You don't have to be afraid. Everything has a solution, remember. You have the heart of a warrior. That is why you implored as a guard in the palace of Akama. Do not behave like an ordinary man who is not rooted into anything. I'm home. <laughs> Ivy. Baby! Where they come go now? Oh. Yeah, wait for her. <clears throat> You you sounded so baffled on the phone. What is it? Okudri, my very good friend. All along, you've been telling me that beauty is seeing another man. Okay, why are you twisting words from my mouth? Eh? Why are you twisting my words? Did you ever hear me say that, that, that she was seeing another man? What I said is that beauty, your girlfriend, is seeing other men. What? What is what? See, I, Opo Dale, the son of Oka Tigwe, the very grandchild of Ichi Rapoku, I do not shy away from the truth. Oko Dale, do you have proof? Proofs. You remember that day that I came here to tell you that I saw your girlfriend in a car kissing and frolicking with a man that you did not believe me? I went down and did some underground research. And if I tell you the information I got, if I tell you the kind of men that your girlfriend is seeing in this village, what, you will not believe me. What kind of men? Elderly married men. Okudri is a lie. Why would you link me with two, two lies now? Eh? Don't you know Google forbids me from lying? See, any information I give you is authentic. Ah, Johnny! If I've been telling you, <laughs> you say you went down to dig up information. Go, go! Can you give me names? You want to hear names? Yes, you want to hear names. Oh no, is number one on the list. Ichaika, number. You see, the list is very long. In fact, I got information that Ichaika and Onu are beginning to fight themselves. You will not believe the cause of your problem. Side chick. Who is this side chick that they are sharing and fighting about? The woman you call your, 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 your wife to be. <laughs> hey! Okay. Okay. Let this not be true. Eh? Okudri, let this not be true. I swear! Let this not be true. See, if anything that I've said there happens to be lie. Eh? Let her jan the mother eat and Oku, we couldn't name come for me. Oku, do you even swear? That is to tell you how serious I am. 
You know, I've been telling you this thing, but you will not listen. You will not believe me. Captain Thomas. I just watched who is that? Come in. I can see you. Beautiful angel. Good afternoon, Chief. Good afternoon, my angel. What kept you so long? I have been waiting and waiting and waiting. At the point, I thought you weren't going to come. So, how are you doing? Chief, I'm not fine. What is it? I missed my period, Chief. How do you mean? It means that I am pregnant. Who are you pregnant for, my dear? For you, of course. But you shouldn't have allowed that to happen. You know, it's, it's not proper. It's not proper, you say. But I kept warning you. And you said it's sweet when it's zero. Now see, I am pregnant now. Maria, it's not that pregnancy is a bad thing. In fact, it is a prayer of every married couple. But it becomes bad when you consider persons that are involved and the circumstances surrounding it. I don't understand. I mean, it's good news for you to get pregnant, it shows you're fertile. But the bad news is, I am a married man and I'm not ready to have a second wife. Oh, so now you know you're married. But when you were eating me raw, you didn't know you were married, huh? So what exactly am I supposed to do about this now? You should know what to do. Anyways, before the end of today, I'll send you some money so that you can go about it. An abortion? Sure. It's alright, baby. So let's... Let go of me! I regret meeting you! Baby! Come back! What was she even thinking? Was she thinking I was going to get married to her? She can go to places for all I care. Let me call some other of my girlfriends. I hope when she comes here, she can come back. Please do it. You sounded so worried on the phone. What's the problem? What is the connection between you and the know? I don't understand. My question is simple, so don't even pretend that you don't understand. Baby, you know I hate it when people shout on me. Then answer me. Answer me and stop pretending. What do you think I'm doing with the old man? The answer is just to give, so give it to me. Well, if you must know, he's just a friend. So you've been seeing the man? Is it only the man? Is it only? Did you not hear when I said she's also seeing Ichiaika? That the list is actually very long, like a bed slip. These are just the names I've been able to gather. Is it true? <laughs> is that true? Yes. Uh huh. What would you do? So you've been cheating on me, beauty? You call it cheats. It is not called cheating. I mean, I'm actually trying to maintain our relationship here. Take a good look at me. Can you afford anything I'm wearing? No. I mean, instead of having fights with you every time, I would rather prefer uh, taking money from Onowu and others than fight with you. My friend, shut up your smelly mouth. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your smelly mouth. See, you have no reason whatsoever to, to justify your immoral acts. I will not tolerate your nonsense. Did you hear me? No, one more word from you and you will see what I will do to you. Are you, are you mad? Talk to me in that manner. Okay, it's you. I will you descend see? on this girl here. You know me. You know me. You should leave this compound now. Let's go this minute! You don't need to say, I'm leaving already. Okay. 
Okay, calm down. Calm down. Look at her. Useless human being. I have been telling you this thing. Eh? Calm down. Calm down. Don't, don't go and hit her and get into another trouble. Give her. My happiness now is that everything has opened. Like everything is clear now and open for the world to see. This is not the same thing I've been telling you. But then it was as if there was something inside you that was uh, remoting you. To let me know. You should have called me now. I, I would have called you, but my phones are down. Hmm? Oh my god. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> How, are you now? Hmm? How are you? I missed you so much. I missed you more, my queen. Hmm? Are you sure you missed me? I missed you. I'm so sorry. I went out to see a friend. Eh? Sorry for keeping you outside. It's fine, no problem. It's fine. <laughs> my baby. baby. <laughs> Come, let's go inside. I missed you. Missed you more. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. go. Let me help you with your bag. Hey, my baby! Baby! I miss you. Where is mama now? Hello. Ozemena. Ozemena, what's the meaning of all this? You kept me waiting for quite a long time now. What's the problem? You should have told me that she's not ready. I, I will understand. You kept me so long. What is it? Hello? Hello? My adorable, always charming. I thought you were not coming any longer. You're always charming and so beautiful. That's why I choose to call you my adorable. <laughs> um, Your Majesty, I'm very sorry. I was actually caught by something not too important. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. No problem about that. Accepted. You see, all my life, no one has ever celebrated my birthday, but you did. Really? Yes, that's why I've come to show appreciation. <laughs> Before you do that, I have a surprise for you. Iki, your majesty. Surprise, surprise. You're far surprise. too kind. What is one? Okay. So, it's true Akudo is sleeping with the king. Yes. How did she do that? I wouldn't know. Let's go ask her. No, she won't tell you. What made you say so? She's so secretive. From all indications, Ozemere here is the coordinator. Yes. And that's why whatever he does pleases the king. Ah, my dear Kudo. She's in heaven. Do you know that the king will do everything for her? Exactly. My dear, I just wish I'm in her shoes. 
Mm -hmm. If you carry her shoes, what would you do? By the end of the year, I will build a house mm -hmm. for my father in our compound, custody of the king. Okay, wait, wait. For real, you have big eyes. What? <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. Opportunity, they say, comes but once. And when one presents itself, you grab it. Come, let's go. Honestly, I'm, I'm so happy to have you back. Same here, my queen. Mm? Mm? <laughs> uh, I enjoyed the food. Mm? You're still a wonderful cook. Really? Yes. Um, babe, I would like to meet your people. Wow. That would be nice. Yeah. So, when do you intend coming with your people? Um, anytime they fix, it will be okay by me. Okay. In that case, yeah. I need to go to the palace. So, when I'm back, I'll go and meet my uncle. So, I'll give you feedback regarding the date. Mm, by the way, what's happening in the palace? The wind asked me to assemble young ladies to the palace for a meeting. Why? Like, why? Ah, uh, I can't tell. But <sighs> it's part of her duty as the queen. That's so. Yeah. Okay. So what time did she ask you guys to call? Actually, I'm supposed to be going there now, but I don't feel like leaving. <laughs> I understand. I want to mm -hmm. be with you. I understand. But since the queen asked you guys to come, you need to start going now. It's it's 5.55 already. Hmm? You need to start going now. Hmm? You need to start going, babe. Huh? Stand mm, up. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll be here waiting for you, okay? Make All right, sure stand up, stand up. Make move sure it, move it. <laughs> Move it. Evening, beautiful ladies of our Kama Kingdom. Good evening, your majesty. We all know why we're here. Shall we proceed? Your majesty. Our men are so mean to us. All they want from us is our bodies. As soon as they get it, they discard us like the butt of a cigarette. Well, if you ask me, you cost it. But how? Because you took yourselves to them. I believe nobody pushed you or forced you. But they came as, as friends. They make eye-cashing promises that can sweep any lady off her feet. They trick us into this. Talk us into confusion. I mean, promising us heaven on earth. And we as ladies, because we are in their need of money, we succumb to them. You're saying that what motivates your immoral lifestyle is money? Yes, your majesty. It is a hard truth, I have to tell, only to the fact that they are married. And none of us here has ever dreamt of becoming a second wife, let alone getting married to a man old enough to be her father. The pain is, after having their ways with us, they don't keep to their promises. Yes. The problem here is we need them more than they need us and that is why they continue to treat us anyhow they want. That line of thought that you need them more than they need you is absolutely wrong. The reality is they need you more than you need them. I'll explain. Any man who has a side chick claims it is because his wife troubles him at home. And so to find succor, he races into the arms of his side chick who in turn cares for him, nurtures him, satisfies him sexually. Someone who does all these things deserves not to be taken for granted. And in addition to what the queen just said, 
You guys contribute 50% of a man's happiness and you make his world revolve around its orbit. So, you should be treated with some sort of respect. In all honesty, the side chick can be referred to as a wife. I say so because the side chick does virtually the same thing a wife does for a man. Even our tradition has supported the existence of side chicks, making men give themselves the nauseating title of Wokeji Ezinono. Meaning that as a man, you are entitled to a woman outside, which is lazy, and a woman inside, which is no no. A man who cannot take care of the woman outside should limit himself to the woman inside. It's very simple. Oh, Your Majesty, you are opening our eyes. How are we going to do it? A stingy man is stingy only to a woman who does not know her onions. A stingy man who is unwilling to part with a dime will willingly give up everything in his possession to that one woman who knows how to get what she wants when she wants it. That said, use your tongue and count your teeth. I do not feel good the way my queen is discussing with the maidens outside there. My king, she's molding them into becoming responsible maidens of this kingdom. You think so, but I think otherwise. I feel otherwise about it. <laughs> my king, what do you want me to do? Go out there and find out exactly what my queen is discussing with this medics. Very important. I'm on into already. We no Happy birthday. How did you know it's my birthday? When a man is in love with a woman, he goes all out for her. You're that woman that gladdens my heart. And you mean the world to me. But I beg of you, if you can allow me love you than this, you will not regret it at all. Once again, happy birthday. Come on. Go ahead, it's for you. Thanks for accepting the gift. Wait. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Um, you can come inside. At least let me offer you something. Well, that won't be necessary. I insist. My 
to. Come in. How did it go? Your Majesty, there is a problem. A very serious one. What is it? Do you know who may have triggered the anger of the maidens of Akama Kingdom? And they are out to get their pound of flesh from the men. The queen has bought to their complaint. And the plan on how to deal with these men is the reason for their meeting. What did they know would do? Jonowu could not keep to his promises. The promise he made to one of the maidens, and she reported the matter to the queen. I know it will come to this someday. I know Onowu must definitely get us into trouble just someday. The maiden who briefed me said the queen has instructed the maidens to be strict on the men. Ha! I knew it. I know it is going to come to this someday. I don't know why Ono never wanted to get it right with these girls. I don't know what the problem of this man is. He wants to spoil things for us. My king, should I summon you know? Don't worry. Let the queen confront me with this. Then we take it off from there. What kind of question is that? Huh? You don't come to my house uninvited. Really? But you know I've been calling you and you refuse to pick in my calls. Then you should know I'm not in the position to pick your call. Oh, really? Why are you fidgeting? Huh? Uh, is everything okay? Mm, everything is okay. Okay, but it, it, look, no, if it is about the car, all right, I have bought it. All that. Okay, so let's talk. Okay, we'll talk later. Please, leave for now, please. I beg you. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Babe, Boy, you forgot to mm, pick these baby. ones. Yeah, yeah, these are dead now. Huh? Yeah. I forgot to check one. Who, who is he? He's my uncle. He just came to check up on me. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. How is the family, sir? Yeah, we're good. Uh, you're, you're welcome, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, uncle, you have to go now, please. I, I cannot leave my boyfriend to come to the meeting. But maybe I'm going to call you so that I'll find out how the meeting went. It's all right. It's all right. Babe, I, I'll be inside. When you finish, your uncle, you come and meet me. Okay, okay my love. <laughs> All right, Oku. <laughs> Thank you, sir. My guest is the family. Right. Uh, Thank you, sir. Hope you're enjoying the meal. Yes, babe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, baby. I'm coming. All right, sir. <laughs> so, this is it, right? Just go. I'll talk to you later. Plaza Hotel. You have to meet me there. Don't keep me waiting. Is that understood? Just go. Good afternoon, Archie. Are you okay? How are you? I don't think I'm fine, Angela. I don't think I'm fine at all. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Is you requested to see me? Yes, I did. 
Angela, is it true that Beauty has been sleeping with married men? Yes. And you didn't care to tell me? It's because I didn't want to be the reason your relationship of three years got shattered. And how long has this been going on? She has been into it even before you met her. What? Yes. But the truth is that she loves you. You can't say it in like that. What kind of love is that? Love umu moko onke madu. You can't claim you love someone and, and you're cheating on him. I can't. She loves you. The truth is that beauty cannot keep a relationship with a man for more than six months. But she stayed with you for almost three years. Her love for you made her remain in the relationship. I disagree with you. Angela, I disagree. A woman who does this kind of a thing cannot claim that she knows the meaning of what love is. No, don't say it that way. A lot is involved. A lot. A lot, like what and what? She, she should be in a better position to tell you the story, not me. Hey, be my love. Chief, Chief. Always looking beautiful. <laughs> Chief, good morning. Good morning, my love. Mm -hmm. So, shall we? We shall, Chief. But before then, we have some discussion to make. Uh, Abby, we can always discuss either in the car or even in the hotel room. So, let's be going. Chief, <laughs> come on. I know we can always discuss in the car, in the room, anywhere. But this discussion, we have to make it here. Uh, Abby, must it be here and now? Yes, yes, Chief. <sighs> okay, I'm <laughs> listening. Um, Chief, you see? Mm. You will start placing me on a monthly salary of 100,000 naira if you must continue to get my services. And you will also get me an apartment in a developing area in Akama. As you can see, Chief, I've not bought new clothes for the past four months. You will need to change my wardrobe. Maybe you're joking, right? No, I am not. Okay. I'll think about it and I'll get back to you. So, shall we? Please. You need to think about it here. Think about it, make a decision here so I will know if I'll close my shop to go with you. But I just said I'll think over what you said and get back to you. Okay then, Chief. We'll place everything on hold. So you will finish thinking about it and come to conclusion. Hey. My queen, why would you have meetings with maidens of this kingdom without my knowledge? Your Majesty, it's women affairs and I'm on top of it. I am the king and I should be on the know of whatever that happens in my palace. Yes, you're right my king and I was looking forward to briefing you about it. Convince me, my queen, why do you feel it is right to discuss with my maidens? Your Majesty, some men in this kingdom cannot keep their libido in check. They go around causing problems for themselves in their homes. Then they run outside into the comfort of the side chicks. These same men turn around and treat these side chicks with disdain. It is wrong and it must stop. And what is your business? You are the queen of this kingdom. And your major concern is what happens in this kingdom positively, not supporting loose cares. Or are you trying to let me know that you are supporting these loose girls? Your Highness, loose girls, so to say, are loose because there are loose men who patronize their looseness. 
You know me. You know how I am about the rights and privileges of the girl child. That is a course that I'm onto. These loose girls are no different from the girl child that I advocate for. Moreover, I am not ready to destroy any marriage by discussing this with any of the wives from this kingdom. Side chicks is not part of girl child. These are matured adults that can take decisions on their own. Your Highness, when I am onto something, I never back down till I see to it to the very end. These girls, like I said, are no different from the girl child I advocate for. But if you have a problem seeing them in that light, how about we see them as women of this kingdom who depend on me to mold their lives? Can I advise you? Of course, my king. Advise me. Abandon this project. People will misinterpret it. Yes, they will misinterpret it to mean that you are supporting loose girls. The onus of educating them lies on me. And I am not backing down on it. Asana, I know what I am saying. The women of this kingdom would not smile at this. They will think that you are supporting their men to go after side chicks. And you know what that means. Queen Asana of Akama Kingdom supporting adultery in Akama. Your Highness, I know what you're saying and I equally know what I am doing. I will continue to be on top of it until I see to the end of it. Your Majesty. Ah, oh no, you're welcome. Oh no, we'll talk an angle. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh no, there is fire on the mountain. Fire? Yes. On the mountain. Who initiated the fire? And on which mountain is it burning? Is it a uh, Mount Everest or Mount Kilimanjaro? Oh, no. I, I don't think that this is the right place to discuss about this. Let's go on. Ayika, calm down, calm down. My wife and daughter are not at home. Uh, yeah, so we can talk freely. Okay? Uh, by the way, what will I offer you people? Uh, no. This moment is not for drinking at no. all. No, no, he's right. We have a critical moment hard to deal with. Hmm? Yes. Hmm. This is not a good development for Akama Kingdom. I know it. Asana is going to rock this boat. How do I stop her? What do I do to stop her now? Uno, what do we do? Uh, I think, uh, in my own uh, opinion, let's continue to do the biddings of these girls so that we will not fall apart with them. The enjoyment is supposed to continue. It's a two-way thing, give and take. Are you yes. What are you saying? No, down. You want us to box ourselves into a corner? No, now, no. Look, let's not give them the impression that uh, they are more important, or rather, they, 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 we need them more than they need us. No, 
let's let them know that they need us more than we need them. After all, we are the one who is, you know, paying for the vitamin given. Eh? Let's book a little bit. Uh -uh. Truth be told, no, we need them more than they need us. Are you not listening? Did I say we don't need them more than they need us? I'm saying that we shouldn't tell them that. I mean, you can't be showing where you are vulnerable to your enemy now. Eh? Wisdom is needed in this case. Otherwise, we will all end up being the losers. Bam, 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 bam. I don't want to use my ears to hear that word loser again. I have already told us. Eh? Let us, you know, it's some paper, the thing, it flows like that. The other day, you, uh, uh, the, the kind of enjoyment I was getting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 And you want me to lose, <laughs> but I cannot lose on that. But I can. That will affect her finances. Imagine a bere, a bere, a bere is requesting that I'll place her on a monthly salary of hundred thousand naira. She even said that I will get her a, an apartment in a developing part of Akama. She added that I will change her wardrobe. Imagine a bere. It's not as if I cannot dump her. I can dump a bere and get another chick. But who knows the demands that other chick will come with? Eh, uh, Ayika. Ayika. I told you that we need to review the membership of this our oh, clique. Yeah. Eh? Okay. If you have a vitamin giver and you are not paying her rent, you are not giving monthly allowance, you are not changing wardrobe. So why should you expect to get vitamin? I don't understand. This guy is too poor. Look. Will you borrow him some money? The money ah, is there. I bought oh, a car for a, for a girl. Oh no, who just ordered a chara chara car for one of them the other day. So the money is there. I don't know what you are doing with your own money. <laughs> Ika, I'm surprised that you men are saying this. If we do all their biddings, how then do we take care of our families? Uh, oh no. It's still a bit in detail. <laughs> I think uh, it's a very simple thing. Let me give you advice or, or us if you know very well that you are not capable of affording the demands of this woman was then face forward and face your wife eh? Mm. Eh, because i know some of us here eh, eh, i don't want but your eyes there Leave us that are playing the corner kicks to go be moving around and be playing our corner. We are very good at that. Ah, and first your wife. As if, a professional if, if, that is, if that is the, the advice you wanted to give him, why are you saying us? Because Let him go and face his wife that is already having a oh. flat uh, <laughs> eh? Then we now we go for the vitamin givers, you know? When you push like this, you move again. Ah, you can. <laughs> we are going to remove this guy. We, we, we remove him. <laughs> he complains a lot. So stingy. But go and face your wife. When you are there, oh no, sorry. Uh -huh. When they need to pay. When they will be giving you the food, 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 food. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. This is what we, we, those of us that were Catholic then, <laughs> who used to call it on our side, on a with an if I be But somehow, this is so ironic. <laughs> oh, we are the men who are supposed to be protecting these girls and giving them a, 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 a well a treatment in terms of morale. But rather, we are the ones, you know taking advantage of these girls and we are here planning on how to continue mm -hmm. to subcharge them. I don't like what they are doing. I'm just thinking. This thing you are doing is wrong. You can't be speaking from this side of the mouth and speak from this side. Imagine. You are just like a rat. You you eat and you blow. You were the one who said we should enjoy the vitamins. And now you are saying we, we should protect them, we shouldn't be spoiling them. Okay, no. If you don't want to belong, leave. No, it's not a matter of belonging. The other day, just very early this morning, I woke up, I saw one man preaching, heaven is real, hell is real, heaven is real, hell is real. Can you imagine? What oh is going on? Fine, yeah. This so both of you are so fine happy. Finest, baby, yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Welcome. Oh. Oh. You are looking on top of oh, it. Who is looking at us? I I'm always God. look at her. What do you expect? <laughs> that, that, that is the clean point, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, 
job. My partner's in crime. Yeah, they oh, why are you both so happy? I haven't committed um, any crime yet, so calm down. Okay. All right, just me. Okay, I will. <laughs> it appears the strategy is working. How do you mean? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. You see, the moment I stopped taking the Chakiri's call, mm -hmm. boom, <laughs> he bought me a brand new phone. Really? The same phone that? she has been asking of him since last year. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. <you> <laughs> and he will always look out for an excuse to give. Mm. Mm. You know what? Bless who our grounds. Yeah. These men need us more than we need them. That and is. if they yeah. must continue to have us, they must take responsibility for us. Yeah, right, baby. Uh -huh. Say that again. <laughs> God, we really bless the queen. Amen. In our eyes. Amen. You can say Amen. that again. I can believe this man have this money and they have been keeping it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, now I know that information is liberation. But you know that, baby. <laughs> Only God knows how I'm going to build this man going forward. Have take it easy on them. Just have mercy. <laughs> I'm serious though. I'm going to make now all the money they have I'm supposed to have made from them since they started messing around with us and we kept quiet. Don't be a greedy baby girl. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> if greed is the word, the men should be called out. Exactly. Yes. You see that Ichi Akidi? <laughs> he will suffer in my hands babe. going forward. Milk him dry. That's it, exactly. Mm -hmm. If you need your services, he must pay for it. Chicken up. No more go okay. show free for me and my girls. What about you? Let me bash you. Let me bash you. Wait, let me tell you something, Jerry. What is this again? Thank you, Your Majesty. Has she accepted to marry you? Not at all, Your Majesty. Then why are you thanking me? I expect a thank you when she is yours. I do not think she will accept to marry me. Why? Why would you think or say that? Your Majesty, if you know how hard I've pressed to gain her attention, but all to no avail. She practically declined all of that. It is courtesy of you that we now talk and she's no longer hostile to me. And you do not see the bliss in that? She is beginning to give you attention, listening ears to the things you have to say. That is encouraging. It means that if you press harder, she will melt. She's only been a woman. I can tell you for free that she'll be yours if you don't give up. How long will that be, Your Majesty? I don't know. But give it time and you will get the desired result. This is why I've come to thank you. Thank me when she has agreed to become your wife wholesomely. Hmm? So beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> wow. But oh no, you are the cost of all this. Are you aware? Uh, Your Majesty, how did I cause all this? Lost 
You are not generous in spending. And look at what it has cost all of us here. Have you seen it? Your Majesty, with all due respect, I am not stingy. I can understand the fact that uh, a lot is expected of me. And I will find a way to, to adjust, to meet up with your expectation. You better find a way and do that fast. You don't need anybody to tell you that these little, little girls, they are the reason we are still young and alive. You are right, Your Majesty. Their young and fresh blood makes us look younger than our age. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, come on, come on. Why are you deceiving yourselves? These are mere assumptions. I'm telling you, nothing like that obtains. Stop this here gospel. You cannot afford to argue with us on this. We are telling you that we will not sit here and watch you spoil things for us and we will just keep quiet. Fix this thing once and for all. Yeah? Ichaika, may I remind you that you are talking to the great owner of this kingdom. So you mind the way you talk to me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Huh, right now, me. We are talking casually as men. When we sit for the Council of Elders meeting, I will accord you some respect. I am telling you that you have messed up a whole lot of things. And I am telling you that I'm not enjoying that nonsense you are spewing from your mouth. So you better keep quiet when I'm talking. But he's telling you the truth to know. You better own up because he's right. Wait a minute. Is this a kind of gang up or what, Your Majesty? Nobody is ganging up against you. No gang up at all. Oh no, will you shot yourself on the foot by not fulfilling your promise? Can you imagine that? How can you make a promise that you know you will not fulfill? Why? Your Majesty, I have already said that I will alter things. I will, I will make things right. As a matter of fact, as we speak, I've already ordered for the car. So why is all this, I mean, why all this hula balu about nothing? You are, you are making mountain out of a molehill. What is it? You mean the car you ought to have bought long ago before now? It's a kid. Oh, you are still talking. I'm talking, you are talking. Now, don't let me take things personal with you. If you spew out more word, one more word from that your stupid mouth, I will slap the living daylight out of you. Eh? Idiot! You mean you will slap the living day out of me right here before the king? Oh yes! Go ah. ahead and do it and let's see what you happens know. to you. You see why I say he's not competent enough to become a no? Will you keep quiet? I, oh no! Will you are tasking my patience! Keep quiet! Your right before it. I say keep quiet. I can't tolerate this guy in general. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me see what I can do later. Oh, okay. What about Mama? Okay. Papango? All right, all right. I will talk to you later. I need your help. My help? I don't understand. I need to be free from a spiritual husband. I need to love a fellow human being. Please help me. So, how do you want me to help you? Will you help me? I will try. I will try. Be specific. See. I don't even know what you want to tell me. So there is no need of me agreeing to do it or, or not. It is something you can do if you want to do it. I can only tell you if you swear to me that you will do it. Uh, uh, listen, real men of Akama Kingdom do not promise what they cannot do. Promise you will do it. Yes. I will, I, will, I will do it. Okay, then. There is... Chiga. Chiga. Thank <laughs> you. 
Something important to say. Your father, that is so stingy to his family, will buy a car. Eh? It's not possible. Because not there, if you want to eat chinchin, will join me. Ma query. Mama, I am telling you something important. You're talking about chinchin. Important. Hey, Mama. You see that same Papa you and I know to be very stingy. He just bought a car for one of his side chicks. The news is all over the village. Everyone in this community is talking about it. I am actually surprised you have not heard. Chelo. Hey! Are you serious? You mean your father bought a car for somebody? I mean his side chick. Who is the person? I don't know, Mama. But I heard she's from this Akama. Chelo. Akama. Sit down. Hey! Hey! Chelo. You know what you do? Go out there, do your investigation, eh? find out, then report to me. Huh? Mm. So that what will happen, Mama? So that I can always... Uh... You can always what? Yeah, Mama, you know I don't trust you, right? I don't want you to do anything funny and aggravate the whole situation. It is already worst. I mean, can't but you know, I've always told you. I've always reported your father to you. I've always told your father of your father's escapades with ladies. Hey! Mama, I know that I still cannot believe my ears. Even if Papa is a cheat, he will go as far as buying a car for his side chick. I used to think my husband is stingy. I don't know, he's very liberal, especially to those side chicks out there. <sighs> Papa bought a car for a side chick. Oh no, Otokanando. Otokanando na toy. Hey! I've thought about your demand and I'm back here for us to discuss. Chief, there is nothing to think about about my demands. What is wrong with you? How do you expect that you make such demand and I'll jump into it as if I pile some money somewhere? What if I can't fulfill them? Chief, it seems like you don't know what is happening here. Honestly, I don't know. Please explain it to me. Okay, Chief, I'll break it down for you. Break? This means that before you will ever see my nakedness again, you will have to sign undertaking to fulfill all the promises you have made to me. You're joking, right? <laughs> I am not. It may sound like a joke to you, but it's not. What's going on? Why the sudden change? You men pushed us, and we made a decision and stood by it. Okay, see what I can offer. I'll get you a room self-con at your choice area of Akama. Chief, uh, Chief, the least I can take is one room and parlor with toilet and bathroom inside with steady power supply. What I said is what I can afford. I'll place your monthly salary of 30,000 naira for your upkeep and I'll change your wardrobe. Chief, you're gradually talking, but why not make it to 80,000 naira? Think about my offer, Beric, and get back to me. Chief, there's nothing to think about. Tell me if you're ready for this. Let me bring out the form for you to fill and sign. Eberek, I insist you think about my offer. I'll be waiting for your call. You know I'm a very patient man, but I cannot wait forever. Shay, you don't say I'm everybody he get it right to you. He don't say it whether you like him or not. You must bear this is right of the side chick to you. Hey! Oh, you can't go see. No, now who are my 30,000? Me. A self contained of my own. And he will change my wardrobe. Who am I? Oh God! <laughs> it is working. The strategy is working. Ha! Ah, our dear Queen, thank you so much. Thank you for opening our eyes. Thank you. Hey! Right of side chick. 
Let me go home and make a delicious food for myself. Please sit down. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. I don't need a soothsayer to tell me that you're happy. Happiness is an understatement, my queen. I'm overjoyed. Really? Yes, my queen. What's the good news? The owner who just um, bought me the car. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yes, my queen. You won. Yes, I you told did. you this would work, didn't I? You did. And the other girls are reporting to me that they have the men exactly how they want them. As it should be. <laughs> now listen, this is the beginning of good things to come to you. Thank you Just attach a level of value and respect to yourself. And watch you attract a lot of goodies to yourself. You're right, my queen. My queen, I owe you a lot. It's nothing. I have experienced more than all of you. And so the honors of guiding and redirecting you people lies on me. Honestly, we are very grateful, my queen. I mean, you stooping down to our level just to assist us. <laughs> Honestly, my queen. I mean, other ladies of your class would have not been part of this. And here you are. We are so grateful. You know, there's a saying that victory for one woman is victory for all women. Most women do not understand this. And that is why they keep fighting themselves. But, hear this. I am in no way supporting your immoral lifestyle. I am, however, finding the technical ground upon which to handle these loose men who are the architects of these looseness. Okay, my queen. Okay. Thank you. Getting too uncomfortable with all this madness. Yes, come in. Ozeman, how did it go? Her demands are unbearable. What was her demands? She's asking for your car. Uh, that won't be a problem. I can give her any of the used cars in my palace. Maybe one of those old cars. I can give her one of them. Is that I a problem? Think she was being specific on her choice of car. So, what was her choice of car? She's asking for Mercedes GLK 350. What? That was the same question I asked her. I don't know what she wants to do with such kind of car. I think greed has taken over her. Go and get me another girl first. My king, I spoke with three different girls and they are all making bogus demands. So, what was their demands? The second one was asking for a Tieroba Lesus 450. And the last one was asking for a bungalow. Yeah. I think a particular level of madness have possessed these girls. How's that, man? Go and get me a kudo. The queen is in the palace. And ever since the birthday celebration, she has been watching and monitoring a kudo's movement in the palace. In that case, have your ego eyes fixed on my queen. Whenever she's not available, get a kudo for me. I would you trust that? Ha! Oh no! 
who no want to spoil things for all of us. They can no no oh, no no more no no good that gives us long life, elongation of lives and makes us feel younger. Pino Pino. And you want to spoil it for us. Bye. What is it? Nothing. Listen, do not lie to me. I was discussing with you. All of a sudden, you started behaving like someone being strangled. I'm happy you saw that yourself. He nearly killed me today. Who? My spiritual husband. Is he that jealous that he doesn't want to see anyone around you? He even attacked me when I want to save you. Yes. Ah. Seriously, you are in trouble. Deep trouble. So, so, what do you want to do now? Are you still willing to help me? Yes. Are you sure? I am willing to help you. Thank you. There is a bead around my waist. If you cut it, I'll be free. Just a bead. Show me that. Show me that useless bead. Look at it. I I'm not seeing any, anything here now. I can see it. It's here. I can't see the, the, the useless bit. Show me that useless bit. Let me tear it now. He's here. Who? Who, who is here? Who? That man? It's leave now. Is, is it that man? It has gotten to the level of you buying cars for your stupid side chicks. But man, Beatrice, what, what kind of rubbish is this now? Eh? I don't have your time this afternoon. No. You're going nowhere. My friend, get out of your way. Let me go. Ndobisi, why have you chosen to be stupid? Eh? You hurt me. Wait, 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 wait. Offense number one. You call your husband stupid. Offense number two, you disrespect my office. Me, you call me by my name. A whole older who of Akama Kingdom. Oh, you match line this time. You look, don't ever try that thing again. Oh, don't ever insult me. Two insults at the same time. You insulted yourself by your actions. Respect, they say, is reciprocal. Mm -hmm. What do you see in those stupid girls that I don't have? No, 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 no. Do uh, eh? you know initially, eh? I was angry, but now I'm not angry again. Because I can see that you are completely ignorant of what is happening. You think it's about what you have and what you don't have? No. You see the car thing that is making you the make. It's a community project. Community project. Eh? And I am the one in charge. So please, stop insulting me. And please, stop overheating this house. You are the one overheating this house with your big lies of is a community project. I did not buy a car for anybody. Let me tell you, that community, whatever you're talking about, you made that up. Onyasi. Let me tell you, you're going nowhere until you tell me the truth. The truth must come out. Like seriously? Like seriously. I forget how to yell at me. That's the only thing you know how to do. No, 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 no,
You must spell right upside check she love. It don't say to whether you like him or not to Greetings, my king. Oh, greetings, my angel. How are you? I'm fine. The queen just left the palace, I guess. Yes. Feel this cap and have the taste of my body. Come on. No, not here, it's your majesty. Why? What is the problem? Your baby girl has some pressing needs. What could that be, my baby girl? I need some money to help me fish some things that is bugging me. But as usual, it's a normal thing that I do. You just demand it and your king will supply it. Your Majesty. Yes. The amount is actually one million naira. What? What do you need one million naira for? Your Majesty, it's for my personal use. <sighs> it's alright. You know, you know something. I will give you five hundred thousand naira today. Before the week runs off, I'll give you another five hundred thousand naira, making it one million naira. <laughs> How about that, my baby? That's my king. Feel this gap. I have a taste of my body. Come to your king. Come to your king. <laughs> Easy. Anybody now? Who was to kill you? He was here. He was here. He was here. Who was here? One, one tall man like that, black and with long hair. He wants to give me. He wants to give me, please. Please, please come, please don't allow him. But he's here now. It's just you and I. I'm sure. Me and you. You, I, you, you, me and you. Just you and I. What? Why? Why are you shouting? He was here. He wants to give. He said he's going to give me. Don't worry. I know your problem. They're just working up on stage. Yeah. That's your problem. It's just a dream. Which dream? You are okay. Nobody is here. It's just you and I. Me, you. Yeah, are you sure? My guy, nobody is here. Let's go. Okay. Come I will not warn you again to keep distance from him. I love him. You belong to me, you cannot love another. I am human. Shut up! And stop fooling yourself. You cannot love another man beside me. You are spirit. And I cannot belong to his spirit. On the contrary, you belong to me and my you will be forever. Please. Please let me go. I, I want to fall in love with a fellow human. I want to experience what other girls experience. Please. That can never happen. Our souls are bonded from creation. But if you give me the reason of taking you to the spirit world, through death, I will not hesitate to do that. I do not belong to your world. Please let me go.
Why are you looking at me like that? What is it? Who were you talking to? I was praying. Praying? That is not how to pray. And besides, this is not the rightful place to pray. The queen sent you on an errand, right? How did you know? It is not good to keep the queen with you. Hello. Are you the person the receptionist says wants to see me? No, sir. I am actually here to see the manager. Well, I'm actually the new manager here. I resumed work today. Are you? Yes, I am. Are you? Yes, I am. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, good. Um, my name is Beatrice. Okay, nice I, to meet you, Beatrice. Thank you. I make cakes and I also bake meat pie. I had an agreement with Mr. Johnson to supply cakes and meat pie to your hotel. Mm -hmm. But now that he's been transferred, I don't know if that means I would have to... No, that won't be necessary. As a matter of fact, Mr. Johnson briefed me before he left. He so did? I'm aware, yes. And, um... I would say you can supply us with the cake and meat pie. Really? Yes. Thank you so much, sir. My pleasure. <laughs> Beatrice! <laughs> so this is what you do, eh? This is what you now do. You have turned to a shower. No, you, you now sleep in hotels with men. Hey. Excuse me? Will you shut up? Who is talking to you? Huh? Now, before I close my eyes and open them, I need you out of this place that running home. Now move! Papa! Papa, what is what kind of embarrassment is this now, Papa? For crying out loud, you don't know who he is or what we are even discussing. How can you embarrass me like this? I don't care who he is. I don't want to know him. I don't care about what you're discussing. All I'm saying is that I should leave this place this minute before I change my mind. Now move! And you, you see this girl is the apple of my eyes. I don't play with her. If I see you close to her again, eh? I will deal with you mercilessly. Sir, you're mistaken. You don't even know me. You don't even know where this, what we're discussing. And you're threatening me? Hi. Look, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to know what you're discussing. All I'm saying is that leave her alone. If you don't leave her alone, you have me to contend with. Hi. Now you move. Now I said, okay. I said, come on, go home. Yeah, go. Papa, I will you break your head. Kill me, Papa. Papa. What, what, is it? what is it now? What is it? Eh? Where you think you're going? Oh, you're going to meet another man there. Oh, yeah. This way. This is the way to get. Get it, Papa! Come! On, come! What? George! Let me see you! What is this now, Papa? Why are you saying this? Let me see you in this place again! It's George! And you! You! Eh? You! I'm going to report you to the manager! I will report you! So you bring small, small children, 100 people's children, to this hotel to sleep with! Look at you! You are a Casanova! Look at the way you're looking at me, idiot! Uh, sir, no, no, shut up! Shut up! Don't talk to me! Sir, yeah. I said don't talk to me, idiot! He doesn't even know I'm the manager. And he assumes I'm sleeping with his daughter. I am not that kind of person. What is the same thing now? Eh? John Bosco, how many times will I give you this list? That means you didn't even drop them down when I was calling them for you. Now what for you? So you want me to repeat the list on over there? Oh yeah, now I'm actually going out there now. Maybe 10 credits is okay, so when I come you will not see it. Alright now. What do you want? Baby, please. Let's talk. We have nothing to talk about. No. We have everything to talk about. Duty, I have moved on and I expect you to do the same. You didn't just say that to me. I did. For all I care 
you can go on with your sugar that is who are busy buying you everything that you need on planet earth taking care of you and giving you all the money from head to toe please just go ahead with them maybe you're taking this so far please i am I'm... ready to take it to when it lands I am not interested in this relationship again. No, baby, please, please. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I hate it I'm when you so lie to me. me. I'm not lying to you. You mean the word to me. I'm not lying to you. I'm Yet sorry. You cheat on me. It wasn't intentional. Oh, really? Yes. So the devil pushed you into it. <laughs> baby, please. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. The devil pushed you into it. <laughs> do See, I'm not going to leave you until you forgive me. Please, just forgive me. I want me. you I'm to sorry. tell that devil to push you back to that place. <laughs> For the records, I bear no grudges against you. I just want you to understand that. I am no longer going to tolerate all you have made me pass through in this relationship. And for those reasons, it is over. No, I am not interested no, again. Please, 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 baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, please. Medicine after death. <coughs> after how the child got by everything, you now want to come back to me. Well, when you're done, you can find your baby, way out. Please, Leave please. me alone. Baby's beauty, I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to wait for you here. You must forgive me. <laughs> you look radiant and beautiful. <laughs> really? Yes. The way you're saying this, I mean, does it mean I've not been looking beautiful? I didn't say that. <laughs> Better. Uh, um, I... Thank you. I actually want to, you know, ask you some serious questions. And I will appreciate it if you give me honest answers. Here's the thing, if I have answers to the questions that you're going to ask, I will gladly supply you the answers that you require. All right. Um, how well, I mean, how much do you know Ndoka? Hmm. To be honest with you, I don't know much about him. But I do know he's a man of our karma. Then, why were you advising me to marry him? I don't need to know him much to know that the woman that he ends up with will enjoy him. <laughs> no, I don't understand his wit. You don't know him that well. Yet you want me to marry him. Please make it make sense. Cause Have you? Settled down to assess Ndoka as a man. The qualities that he oozes off include that of a loving husband and the fact that he is a complete gentleman. <coughs> Haven't you seen him? Haven't you noticed these traits? I never knew you were such a relationship expert. <laughs> Really? I'm just saying. He'll make a good husband for you. If you take the time to get to know him. So, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you more, my queen. Huh? <laughs> um, babe, what about what we we'll discuss? Uh, my uncle said moon's ending. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell my people too, so we'll call month end, okay? That would be nice. I'll miss you. I'm going let to me, miss you. Let me get my bag so I can start going. Baby, guess what? What? I can't wait to be called your wife. Very soon, okay? Hmm? 
very soon. Don't worry. Very soon I'm going to be a car owner. And you'll be the one driving it. Car? Yeah. How? how? How do you want to get a car? Uh, don't worry about that. My uncle said, one of my uncles actually said they are going to buy me a car. So, a car? Yeah. Are you for real? Of course. Oh, oh, all right, and then let me start going, baby. Let me start going. Baby. I don't want to get to Lagos late. Okay, let me help you. Ah, relax. All right, thank you, thank you, babe. I, I'm not seeing bike. Let's go to the front and no, get back now. No, let's stay here and wait now. Ah, bike, babe, bike is not it. coming. I don't relax, want to get to the city baby. late. Relax, very soon you'll be driving to the city. Ah, ah relax. Baby, you know I'm not supposed to be here. My love. You need to calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. Eh, your father will be mad at me if he comes in here and sees me here. Baby, relax. You need to... Mama. You have nothing to worry about. I invited you here. Okay? Mama, 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 I have everything to worry about. Mama, I need to, we needed to have seen the way he reacted the other day that he, he, he found me outside with Beatrice. How much more walking into this place and seeing me seated in his a living room on his couch? Mama is going to be mad at me, please. Nah, forget his reactions. I rule in this house. Oh. Whatever I say, pack him on it. Eh? Don't worry yourself. Trust my mother. If all I know, that man could walk in here with the cutlass. Please, let, let me just stay outside. My dear, I know him better than you do. So, coming in with cutlass will be when I'm not here. He cannot come in with a cutlass when I'm here. Hmm? Okay? Maybe you take time to educate him. Tell him more about me. I will, Mama. Babe, trust my mom. I mean, that happened the other day because she was not around. Such will not happen in her presence. Yes, so um, have you given him something? Mama, he refused everything. He's been so nervous, he didn't even want to drink something as little as water. I, I don't want anything. I, I just want to walk out of this place. I want to stay outside. Babe. Relax yourself, okay? You don't trust my mom. Babe, you are big. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Oh my god, don't push me down. You don't push me down much. Sit. <laughs> Sit, please. Thank you. You're welcome, my love. Thank you. So, I was rushing to come see your Casey. Where is he? Casey waited and. When he didn't see you, he had to go. Oh, babe, I'm so sorry. I was so busy at the shop yesterday. Please, I'm sorry, my friend. It's okay. Um, I thought as much. <laughs> it's all good. So, babe, tell me, I'm curious about something. So, tell me, how do you manage to stabilize your relationship with Casey, despite being into married men? Honestly, my dear, it's not easy. I'm just doing this because my future lies with Casey. You understand? Mm. Yeah, but it's true. I wish I could do the same. Of course you can if you want. If you see a man you love and you want to spend the rest of your life with, just give him mas maximum respect, love and care. And you're good to go. He won't even suspect you. <laughs> Babe, hey, he's smart ass. You have a point, you know. I mean, if other girls can be like you, we would not have problems. Unlike that, our friend Beauty, who always challenged her boyfriend Mokede, telling him that she's into married men because of the money. Can you imagine that? You don't say. I'm telling you the truth. You mean she actually said that to his hearing? Yes. Oh. Then that's the end of that relationship. Because no man would take that from the lady he loves. I mean, how could she make such utterances? <laughs> You're talking as if you don't know our beauty. It's always claiming she's this um, intelligent, smart. No one can beat her bad ass girl. Intelligent. She's far from intelligent, my dear. So long as I'm concerned, 
she's far from it. In fact, she is a typical example of beauty without brains. Oh, this girl. This girl, when will you stop? You are this your bad mouth. But I'm saying the truth. Okay, fine, no problem. I'm not agreeing with you. <laughs> Um, you didn't even offer me anything. Oh. But hold on. Let me. I, I didn't see your car. Where did you park it? Car. Yes. Babe, I the one saying this. I have to go and hide the car somewhere now. Guess he's not aware of the car yet. I'm still thinking about what to tell him. You know, I want to plan it so well. So that, you know, but he how, won't feel suspicious. You know, anything fishy. How long do you intend hiding it from him? Um, well... Not too long because I hinted him before he left that one of my uncles is going to buy me a car. So it should be ringing in his mind by now. Maybe month end or something. I will just tell him my uncle has finally bought me the car. Hey, you don't lady. understand. I have a smart ass <laughs> friend. Look at you. Babe, you smart. Hey. You be correct, babe. My Not like this, our <laughs> girls of nowadays, they go celebrate the car, they go post them on social media to the extent that their boyfriend will find out. And at the end of the day, can man go to dig out where the car come out from? Before you know it, my sister, relationship go die. I have not come to joke. I am not stupid now. It is survival of the smartest. You have to be smart about this. This girl. But oh, that is by the way, my sister. Let me tell you the real thing. Go on, I'm hearing no. you. <laughs> Casey is coming with his people to ask for my hand in marriage and you are invited. It's a lie. What is wrong with you now? Wait until the end of next month, my love. Are oh. you serious? I'm telling you that's so, the truth. Wait, wait, wait. Very soon you're going to be missus. Of course. Oh my yes, God. Now. How did you do it? Mm -hmm. just, just wait till the end of this month. Come here, congratulations! <laughs> I'm so happy Thank for you, you, my love. So before you know it, now you'll be missus. Mm -hmm. I mean, I go day here. Don't no worry, I go collect that your that your all from you. <laughs> no, 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 a long time. Yes. And since then he has been consistent. So, how did it happen? I started seeing him in my dreams. He keeps talking to me. We became friends. And he even gives me gifts in the dream. Can you remember the first time you saw him in the physical? Yes, when I was 15, today I went to the stream to fetch water. I was coming back on a lonely road. Three men came to me with the attempt to rape me. He killed the three of them. And ever since then, till today, I see him physically. Really? Yeah. It's, a, it's a serious one. Uh, do you remember how you got connected to him? After he killed those three men, he came to the dream and asked me to sleep with him. Each time he does that, I resist him. But I, I, I gave him one day. Mm -hmm. And after that, I fell in love with him. Though I spoke to my mother about it, and she said she was going to help me to find out who he is. So what did she find out? I am actually the reincarnation of my grandmother. This man married my grandmother. He died at a young age. They had no issue, they had no child. And ever since then, he vowed to reconnect with me and make my life miserable. Huh. This man is a wicked man. This is pure wickedness. Huh? This is exactly my point. 
I have no business with this man. I don't know anything about the reincarnation. I have my own life to live. I do not have anything to do with the reincarnation. But he keeps tormenting my life. I just want to be free from him. You know what? Relax. There is always a way out. Relax. Everything will be fine. Baby, are you sure this is going to work out? Babe, this is going to work. Trust me. My heart is not very strong on this, honestly. Well, that is because you're overthinking what happened the last time. However, my mom was not around. Today she's here. You have her support and you have mine. I just hope. Why are you breathing like that? You're just panting like a Christmas goat. Why are you scared? I've told you I am here for you. What is the problem? I know what I am talking about. Though. I know what, I, what I'm saying. Babe, my father is a man like you. Face him squarely. That's a Baby, calm down. He's a man like you. Face him squarely. Baby, not in this house. Huh? Oh, I am here for you. I know what I'm talking about. Oh. Father, you're welcome. You again? Huh? What are you doing in my house? He's here to make his intention known to us about our daughter. Yes, sir. I am in love with your daughter and I want to marry her. Will you shut up? Huh? In love with you. Is this the way you marry your place? Where you know we're brought up? Huh? That leave my house now. If not, I'll kill you alive. Father, he, your... Father, he is going nowhere. What is this? Why are you always chasing all the men you see around our daughter away? Ask him, eh? Mama. You're in here. You're a cobra, Nagano. Or cobra, or come and You want to marry her? Oh. So. Your madness knows no limit. Yes, sir. Eh? Mm. You call this one one of the people. Eh? Look at his hair. Like those boys pressing Android for. You want this one to marry my daughter? Father, he may not be a man to you, but he is the man I love and I'm going to marry him. Are you going to marry him? <laughs> Look at you, marry who? This one. Yes, Papa. Hey, marriage, amen. <laughs> Are you okay? Very okay. I think your madness is back. I you need some sleeping pills. Get it one from me. Mug. No, 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 we have visitors so I will just walk back to for it. Idiot. And you? I'm going into my chambers. By the time I go in there and come back, you will know whether he's your man or not your man. He's my man, Papa, and he's going nowhere. Go and chew your gum. Nah. Thank you, mother. I am here for you. Thank you, mother. <laughs> babe, babe. Why are you sure he's not going in there to get a gun? Let him bring out the gun and shoot all of us. I have had it with him. Is he going to marry me? Let him bring out this gun this and is, shoot us. This is what I've been saying here. I, let me leave. Let me stay outside. Babe, 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 babe. Babe. Is this how you're going to marry my daughter? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, This is his house. Babe, babe, and I'm by your side. Is that not enough? My mother is... You have my mom, you I'm here. A permanent separation can be triggered between this spiritual husband and this girl he is marrying against her wish. Our ancestors already provided a procedure that must be followed for the separation to take place. But it is not my work. You still remain the only one I know in this town who is still committed to the tradition of our fathers. If you are not the one who will help her in this separation, who else should we approach? Can you ask this lady in question to come and see me? Why? There are some specific questions I want to ask her. 
Obuefishi has already told me everything. If there is any question you need to ask her, ask me. I will be able to answer on her behalf. She has told you everything like you said. But I'm telling you here and now that she has not told you anything. What, what does that mean? Ask her to come see me on any K market day in this my compound. I hardly leave this compound on a K market days. When she comes, we are going to get to the root of the problem and then I will be able to know the very Dibia who is going to handle the problem. What? Must we involve a Dibia in this? Hugh Okika Biyama is the one who created all the Dibias. And they are doing his work. As we cannot do without food and water, we cannot equally do without the Dibia. Ask me to go, please. Let's talk. I'm sorry. There is nothing to forgive you about. Look, you prefer old married men in our petty from one corner to another with them. What do you want me to forgive you about? You've chosen them over me, so that is it. So be it. See, I've realized my mistake. I, I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Mama said, Makachuku, I am so disappointed in you. Only asking for second chance. Just second chance. I promise it's not, this is not going to happen again. Just second chance, please. Please, I'm sorry. Please, you I'm sorry. Betrayed the love I had for you. You threw it to the mud. I was busy loving you. I loved you with everything in me, with all my heart. I was willing to do anything. You just took all the love and truth to the mud. I can't even explain it. I don't know what got over me. But I've come to make amends. Please, baby, please. Please forgive me, please. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry, please. Please don't ask me to go, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I loved you with everything in me. I don't know why you just have to do what you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Sit down. You asked to see me. Yes, I did. I'm here now. Yes. You see, Chief, I have thought about your proposal and my proposal. So I think we need to make a little adjustment in order to accommodate you and I. Okay. I'm listening. Uh, Chief, I will go with the self contained but please, you need to upgrade the monthly allowance to 50,000. 
Settled. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, Chief, thank you so much. Thank you. I guess you're happy now. I am very happy. I'm so happy now. I need you to know I'm dedicated to your happiness. <laughs> you have proven that once again. Thank you. Thank you. Just look at your shape. Figure eight. Where you to watch. You look sumptuous. Take away. Very perichous. Honestly. Oh no. <laughs> yes. How many times do I need to tell you this? I don't understand. Tell you what. This is the third time you are visiting my house unannounced. Oh, that. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Eh? Hey, but don't worry. Are you not my babe? Come on. What if my boyfriend is still around? Ah, come on, Ivy. That is not possible. It's impossible. I know that he will not be around. How did you know? Oh, oh you don't seem to trust me again. My Yukomita eh, is zeroed on you, heavily focused. So everything about you, <laughs> it captures it. <laughs> eh? So why are you here? Ah, come on. You can see now it's like you are taller than me. Calm down, calm down. Let's talk. Hmm? Look, um, I have reserved five cool days for us to go to Port Harcourt and enjoy ourselves. Five cool days. <laughs> eh? Vacation. Mm, eh. Sounds nice. I know you would like it. As a mm. matter of fact, I know you would love it. <laughs> Who not like the tattoo? Oh, you see, when you smile, give me this smile, give me this smile. You don't always miss your smile. When you smile like this, eh, you take me to cloud seven. <laughs> so, this weekend, right, uh, we are going to leave. So, be prepared. Pack your things, okay? Eh? <laughs> it's going to cost you two million, no, no. Eh? Yeah. Two guineas. Ivy, why now? Why are you like this? Hmm. Hmm? I mean, you want to have me for five solid days? Come on! It's going to cost you a fortune, don't you agree? Look, it's not as if I'm having you. We are having ourselves. <laughs> eh? We enjoy ourselves. I'll spend the money. So why are you like this now? It's alright. You know what I'll do? I'll give you half a million. That should do, okay? Yes? That will translate to 100k per day. Oh my god. No, it's not going to work. <sighs> it's not going to work. Ivy, you suddenly turned yourself to a mathematician just because of a vacation. Why would you want to divide the money by the number of days? Hmm? <laughs> oh, let's not just waste our time. Hmm? If you have the money, transfer it into my account. Hmm? Then you can have me all to yourself or nothing. Ivy, don't make things difficult for me. You know I love you. Eh? It's not just about money. What is it now? Eh? Please. I am Obuefin Zakonobi, the chief priest of Akama. I know you, and I know I have no business with you. So what are you doing in my company? You must not guide anyone on how to free her. Why? She belongs to me. 
You forced that young woman into your hands. And that is none of your business, Obwefi. Stay away from this. For you to finally develop the boldness to come into my compound to warn me simply means your cover is blown. I am going to trigger a separation between you and that innocent woman. And I want you to stop me if you feel you can. I have removed my cap for you. That simply means your cover is blown. On a care market day, you will remain restless. On Oriya market day, you will know no peace. On Afo market day, the air will reject you. And on Unpo market day, even the ground will reject you. All the remaining days of your life, <laughs> you will know no peace as long as you continue to hold on to that innocent girl. Good evening, welcome. Um, I was hoping to see you yesterday when you came back. Um, oh. Yes, I came back and was overwhelmed with work. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry about that. How did it go? Uh, both requested to see you. When? On any market day of your choice. I suggest you should go on this uh, Saturday because it's a game market day. That means I should start preparing. Exactly, immediately. Oh, there's no, we don't have time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, please, Izu. No one should hear about this until it's over. Exactly what I want to tell you. And I said, so just keep it to yourself. Yeah. Sure, you will keep it for me. Exactly. I will. I will. Why not? But start preparing on Saturday so I can. No, we don't have time. I Let will. me go back to my duty post. Thank you. See you. Thank later. you. Come in. Hi. Hi. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Please sit. Thank you. Um, so what do I offer you? Water will do. Water? Just water. Oh. Don't worry. It's soft. Okay. I just asked for water. Yes. But I decided that we need something better than water. Very well then. Thanks all the same for the wine. You requested to see me. Yes, I did. Here I am. I just want to know, what exactly do you want from me? <laughs> Ooh, what I want from you. I want to make you my wife. The mother of my children. Why me? I don't understand. 
Why me of all women in Akama? Let's say you possess what I want in a woman. Oh, yes. <laughs> really? Yes, really. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should start listing those qualities I possess. <laughs> I'd like to hear them. This one you want to talk to me today, I hope I'm safe. Why are you sounding like that now? Eh? That is because you have been avoiding all of us. See, it's not like that. It's just that there is something I'm working on and that thing seems to have matured. What could that be? The king is into me. Are you sleeping with the king? Yes, but keep this between us, okay? Sure. I will not tell anyone. Since the queen has refused to bear children for the king, I've made myself available. And if it works, I mean, if the king finally gets me pregnant, Queen Asana will be relegated and I, I will step in as queen of Akama. You sound as if you had all this planned out already. Mm, exactly. And if I finally become the queen of this great kingdom, you will be promoted as the chief maiden of this beautiful palace. How about that? Wow, that sounds great. Mm. And please, no one should hear about this, okay? <laughs> My future wedding. Chief. <laughs> Look at her. She wants to be the queen. I don't blame her. I'm really sorry for the way I treated you. I bear no grudges. You're only being a woman. So I understand. Thank you for understanding. You're welcome. Nothing. You know that's not true. Something must have been the reason you staring at me like that. <laughs> You're actually right. So what is it? I am not telling you. beg of you to tell me. It's actually nothing, just that I am surprised and you know, I I feel so relaxed and very comfortable with you. <laughs> Come on. He almost pulled me off my feet. I thought you wanted to say something. Something, something. Anyways, I am pleased with those words of yours. I'm happy with that. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Okay, so, shall we drink to that? Of course. All right, so, can you do me the honors? With your pleasure. So, we... Uh, 
we're going to be toasting full. To what? We're toasting to. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Right? Oh so, have it. That shows is a successful journal. Don't you think? Let's toast to a wonderful relationship ahead. Rest. No matter what thing you give or no, we talk to side chicks in you know order rest. Chai, or the quite very smart yo. Money the one chora so we go. Up to where if I now go chicke, if I now go chicke now so you so. What is it, Ozeman? Akudu is planning something devious. What is she planning? She's planning on getting pregnant for you since Queen Asana is yet to give you a child. She will not step in as the real queen Why Queen Asana is relegated to the background. She said that to you. I heard her saying it. <sighs> Thanks for the information. You're welcome, your majesty. You may leave. I know it. I saw it coming. Huh. Women are indeed predictable. Good afternoon, Papa. Say whatever you want to say and leave. I don't have time. Okudili and his people want to come and see you. To do what? He wants to come and make known his intentions about me. Tell them not to come. But why, Papa? Beatrice, that young man wants to exploit you and walk away. Papa, you're judging him wrongly. Okudili is not that kind of person. I've known him for quite a while. He's not like that, Papa. This discussion is over. Tell him that I don't want him as a son-in-law. Why exactly, Papa? Why? Why do you not want him to be your son-in-law? I've answered your question already. From all indications, you clearly want it the hard way, and I'll give it to you like that, Papa. What did you just say? You heard me right. I am going to get pregnant for him, and you'll be forced to give him your consent. You dare not. You see, Papa. You dare not! Pitchot, try it! I told your local government headquarters is still follow. Oh, okay. Now you dare it. Go and get pregnant. Then you will see what I'm made of. Hey, this girl is white. Hey, it's all right. We shall see. Don't move an inch further. Any problem, Your Majesty? You. You are the problem. What is my offense? How dare you? How dare you? 
despite all my good intentions towards you. I don't understand. You wanted me to get you pregnant. You want the king of this kingdom to get you pregnant so that you can destroy my name and take over. Says who? Swear! Swear by the offer that I represent that you never had such an evil plan against your king. Upon all my good plans for you. I'm, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm, I'm sorry. Leave my presence now. Your Majesty, please forgive me. Your sight irritates me. But, but, Get out of my sight. Forgive me. Out! Get out your sight, irritates me now. He triggered his own destruction by coming into my compound to show his face. What? He was here? He came in here to warn me, and he ended himself by so doing. I want you to take this water, wash your face and your ears, and then you give him to do the same. By this very simple ritual of cleansing, you will no longer see his face and you will no longer hear his voice. It is done. It's a... It's... Oh, boy, you told me we need a Libya to do this. How come you are the one doing it? He finally exposed himself in my compound and I came to realize he is just a small demon that even the basic masquerade of Akama can handle. Hey, let me see that bead. You have run your waist. Ah, oh boy, you, you won't see anything. You won't see. There's, there, there's nothing in my waist. There is a bead. You look at the bead. Ah. Hey, it's true. This is my special gift to both of you. And I want you to wear this always. He will no longer be able to do anything to you. And if he tries to rise against you in any way, the masters of Akama will deal with him massively. He said, he said, and you. you are going to live to fulfill your day's life. He said, you believe that? Thank you. Thank you, my baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Gordon. Okay, thank you. My baby, you are the most sweetest thing I've ever tasted. Oh my. 
the same thing you tell other girls? No. I only tell them they are sweet. But you are unarguably the sweetest. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, baby, when am I going to see you again? We agreed upon something. Until that is fulfilled, we may never see you again. Who is at the door? Avery. Come in, the door is open. Pregnancy is in three minutes. What are your plans about it? I thought we've already gone past this. Why bring it up again? I told you to abort it. I am not going to abort this child. I am keeping this child and you are taking full responsibility for it. I am a married man and I am not ready to have a second wife. Oh really? Well, I'm not asking you to marry me. Just make me comfortable during and after the pregnancy, that's all. I will not do that! Just abort this pregnancy and stop this nonsense! Oh, really? You heard me. <laughs> no problem then. She's pregnant for you. Just, 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 just go. Leave me. Just, just go. Anyway, you're right. See you next time. Right of sight keeps you. In uncertainty, whether you like him or not, you must bear. Right of sight keeps you. What is it? What is it? Isu. Why do you stop? I can feel his presence within. Yes. I am here and I'm going to kill the both of you. I can feel his presence as well. That means he's within and he's watching. Exactly. What do we do? You know what? You don't have business with him. You lie! You belong to me! Ah! What has this man done? What did he do to me? Are you sure Uchiha Akidi is the one responsible for your pregnancy? Yes, my queen. And he's refusing to take responsibility for his actions? Yes, my queen. What exactly do you want him to do? My queen, I am not asking him to marry me. I only ask for him to take care of me while I carry the baby, till I put to bed. Which is the normal thing to do. Yes, but he has refused to do it and that's why I'm reporting this matter to you. These men, they are all so irresponsible. Why are they bent on destroying this kingdom? It's because they have no conscience. Please, assist me to deal with them. I am assisting already. But just like I said to one of you earlier, I do not in any way support or encourage your loose lifestyle. The route I have taken is my technical way of clamping down on these loose men that parade themselves as saints. Hmm? 
you are welcome once again. Hard working Queen Asana of Akama Kingdom. Thank you, Owefi Nzakonobi. I am here to discuss something very important with you. Something that is going wrongly. Something that if it's not stopped now, we're bound to get ruined somewhere down the line. I must have to say that your words are very heavy. May I know what the problem is? Obwefi, some maidens of our land are suffering and are seriously aggrieved. This is because grave injustice is being meted on them by elders of our land who cannot keep their libidos in check. They get these maidens pregnant and force them into having abortions. The maidens in question are young enough to be their daughters. Obwifi, if the dog now eats the bone hung round its neck, are we not ruined as a people? I understand what the problem is. I understand exactly where you are coming from, but I want to find out. How do you want me to get involved? Wifi, I know you as the leader of the masquerade cult of Akama land. And you are revered as the man, the only man who can call other men to order. I have investigated you and you have come out as upright as everyone testifies. I am therefore convinced you are not part of the men involved in this abominable act. It is therefore safe to say that only you can stop this. You know, I must have to say that I am very happy. Very happy in the sense that someone as elevated as the Queen of Akama is the one who has taken it upon herself to tackle this problem. I am giving you my word. I am going to call the men to order. Yes, I am going to use my position to find a way to flog them back into line. Thank you for giving me listening ear. I did not want to embark on this and ruin marriages in the process. And so far, I am succeeding without doing so. I need you now to help tame the waywardness of the men. For it is service to our land. Thank you. What does the Queen stand to gain in all this? No, no, what is the topic of today's uh, uh, meeting? Why is he so stingy that he cannot pay for services that are graciously rendered to him? Is that not wickedness? Ichaika, will you keep quiet? What kind of rubbish are you talking about? Huh? Look, the issue on the front burner right now is not about to know. The Queen has taken our matter to Obwefi Uzakonobi. That is what is happening. And now, he has briefed the king about his intention to hold a meeting with the Igwe Council before the offer of Akama. And now you are opening your mouth to talk nonsense. What has it to do with oh, oh no, Idiot! Idiot! Yes, you are idiot! You stingy! It's okay, it's okay. Uh, your Majesty, you have to speak to the Queen. Let her find a way to retrieve that matter from the Obuefi. Why will I do that? Obuefi Nze Akonobi has indicated his interest to have a meeting with the cabinet members before the offer of Akama. Automatically, the queen is out of this. But she started it. Obuefi Nze Akonobi is deeply wired into the ancients. He sees little things. Things as basic as telling little lies to keep body and soul together as taboo. He will involve the ones of deadly 
and better forgotten masquerades of Akama. My king, if that man comes here, he will twist everything and label what we are doing as abomination. And you know what that means, my king? Of course. Igwe is aware of what you are saying. Ogwe fi Mzakonobi will insist on cleansing. From cleansing to oath faking before uh, uh, Ajay. For us to stop all these things. Igwe. <laughs> Use your capacity as Igwe to stop that man from coming. How am I going to do that? Use your power, your majesty, to stop the meeting. Yes. Obuefe cannot force the meeting to hold. Oh. I have always avoided that man. The last time I met this man was three years ago. When he came to inform me of a matter that I thought I was the only one on the know. I was shocked to my bone. You see what I mean? Yes. You see what I mean? That man is not living in this age. So let us find a way of keeping him on his lane. Uh, we feel Zakonobi is the priest of our journey, Akama. We cannot stop him from doing whatever he wants to do. Especially when the ancestors are involved. We can't stop him. Um, um, if this meeting must hold, then I ask for permission to go to my maternal side. You know, I told you some time ago that I fell from palm tree and broke my waist. The people of Oboji, my maternal people, are very good on bone setting. They have been calling me. So let me use this opportunity for you them. You lie. On the contrary, you lie. If Queen Asana has promised to do something, then she's going to go all out. The lady is a nice person, and I pray God keep her for a very long time. He say, honestly, I can't wait to hear the good news that the men of this kingdom will no longer be able to deceive our maidens, and that our maidens will be able to do something when this happens. So what exactly did you ask the man to do for you? Well, me, I wanted to keep the pregnancy and let him take full responsibility of the pregnancy. But the queen, the queen is insisting that he takes care of the child even when he or she is born and until the child is established in life. Hmm. That is a serious issue. Yes. You see, if the queen succeeds in this, then this would be the beginning of new era in Akama. The era of child support. Yeah, you're right, my friend. And that was exactly what the queen said. I mean, a man who is careless enough to get a woman pregnant, he should be careful enough to take care of both the mother and the child. Of course. Indeed. This is a good time to be a woman of Akama. Why would you take such steps without informing me first? I have not done anything wrong, my king. On the contrary, everything is wrong. By reporting the members of my cabinet to Wafi in Zakonobi is a slap on my face. Automatically, it means the matter is too big for your king to handle. I'm sorry you feel that way, my king. I but, didn't mean to offend you. But that is what it is. Reporting me to the praise automatically means I cannot handle the matter. That is what it means. My king, with due respect, I wish to say that I got bored playing politically by the rules. And so I decided to take the bulls by the horns. So, what are you trying to imply by talking about politics? If you're are you in any way saying that I am a politician? If you are not a political king, why then are you avoiding the priest of our journey? The answer is simple. It is because the sacredness that comes with the priest repels you politicians and that is why you cannot appear before him as I have. Many things are going wrong in our land. There is a mystery that I need to resolve and it's only he that can help. 
But this is a matter that I'm already handling. Why take this matter to the priest? Your Highness, there has been a mystery that I have been struggling to unmask. And Obwefi Nzakonobi is the man to resolve the mystery. That is why I went to him. You know what, Asana? I would rather advise you to withdraw that case from the priests of our journey. That will be impossible to do. Because as I speak to you, the priest has gotten involved. Involved in what? What matter are you talking about? Dogs are now eating the bones hang around their neck. The priest is in the know now and he is going to solve it. I cannot stop him. How come men in council are not interested in the Yuzu? No, we are okay with No, fine. You all look tensed up. May I know what the problem is? <clears throat> um, Ogwefe is Akonobi. You are the most powerful and dreaded priest of our land. Like a scorpio. Smooth on the surface, but poisonous at the tail. It is you we greet. Um, Ogwefe. I will be the last idiot to behave like an ostrich that keeps burying its head in a hot sun and keep claiming that all is well. We are not happy. Why? I want to know, why will a priest of Ajahn listen to a woman when the men are very active in their homes? The woman is the brother of the man, remember? No, are you now telling me that the man is more powerful than his mother? Oh, to tell you the truth, we don't know where this is coming from. Oh no, you know where this is coming from. I already fixed a meeting. A meeting that I want to hold before the offer of Akama and the date for this meeting has been communicated to all of us. Why are we not waiting for that meeting? Um, we are aware that um, you are going to condemn us before the offer of Akama. We know the implication. And that is why we summon the courage to come here to see you. So that we can plead with you. Please, try and... Uh, make things easy for us. Give us a soft landing, Pico. Oh no, well, there is something I need you men in council to understand. Abortion is the same thing as murder. For there is nobody anywhere who can say that he is aware of the very time a king is conceived. How can a man of Akama impregnate a woman of Akama in Akama, and is ordering that woman of Akama to abort the pregnancy. How can that be said? Oh boy, I am the one who has committed this grave sin. Thank the girls, she has not aborted it. I am ready to take care of the girl. And if she wants me to marry her as a second wife, I will do so. Because I do not want the wrath of Ajani of Akama to fall on me. Me too. Yes. Yes. I think it's okay. You know, I have allowed all these things to go on all this time, all this while, because I kept believing that men are men enough to know the things that are right and the things that are wrong. Things continue to get from bad to worse, to the extent that men in council will now come before the sheep priest of Akama and they are scared of the Nzu. Men are keeping what they call side six. 
extra women and they are not seeing anything wrong in that i want order to stop because if that fails to stop i will have no other option than to involve the offer of akama in a final solution to this problem not yet Queen of Akama, you put smile on the faces of ladies. You were free to oh. fight. My angel. Welcome, Papa. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. You are looking moody. Any problem? I'm okay, Papa. Alright. So, where is your mother? She went for Umu Adam meeting. Hmm. I wonder what they discussed in this uh, Umu Adam meeting. Because um, Obuefi Nzakunobi has already resolved the problem. He has? Mm -hmm. How did he resolve it, please? Beatrice. Yes, Father. Tell Lukudiri to come with his people to commence the process of uh, your marriage to him. Father. Did I hear you well? Of course you did. Please come again. I, I think I'm hallucinating. I have approved your marriage to Okudere. Father! You are not pranking me, are you? <laughs> Wait, Father! Okudere can come and see you with his people. No! We have heard the warning from the chief priest, and he did not bar the men from having a extramarital affair. He warned them to be committed with the women in their lives, or remain with their wives. Hmm. This thing is sure not as simple as you think. And the one who listened to the chief priest, and his warning is complex and complicated. Complex and complicated. Sure. I don't know what you mean by complex and complicated. What I heard is that the queen took the matter to the chief priest and he warned that the men should start taking care of their side chicks. That is misinformation. The priest never said that. He actually called this side chick and frowned at that word, then warned that men must stop. But chief, does he have the power? I mean, what is his business? in the private life of the people. Obuefi is the chief priest of Akama. His power transcends even checkmating morality. Now he warned that everything concerning side chick must stop. What if the man refuse? He will involve the offer. And trust me, nobody wants to face that offer. So what are we going to do now? I'll get married to you. Then you become my second wife. When that is done, I'll continue taking care of you, knowing full well and taking care of my wife. Uh, Chief, what if I refuse? Then we have to discontinue whatever it is we are doing. Obuefi is bringing sanity into the land and I don't want to be a scapegoat. Because of who keep the rope with Jai Kiri Chalo Wancha Because of who gonna go Come in Jai Kiri Chalo Wancha You promise a bon wagi What you cannot do Iche fuzi onye di ram webune Jibi ubo Oka parakba Isike chepoya 
Honestly, I know you are angry. That is why I invited you here so we can talk this over once and for all. But how do you intend to do that? I mean, you got me pregnant and very soon everyone is going to notice that I am pregnant. The chief priest of the land is already involved in this issue. He is most likely going to involve the power of the Ofo. And I do not want you to get to that level. Honestly, Chief, I don't get this. Is this why you invited me over? What exactly is my business with the Ofo or whatever? Okay, this is it. You are no longer going to abort this pregnancy. Also, you will not raise this child as a single mother. How exactly do you mean? The chief priest of the land has opened a new page in Akam. What we call side chicks is now at Lord. I am going to marry you and you are going to give birth to this child as a married woman. But Chief, am I ready to get married to a man who has a wife already? Any woman who is ready to get involved with a married man should also be ready to get married to the man. Just say yes and you're married. We know for come you put smile. On the faces of ladies, you were freedom fighters. Of course, we know a freedom fighter. Here she comes. Hello. Ah, greetings. You are courageous. Greetings, greetings, and greetings. Hug. You were courageous. Good to see you. Good to see you. Listen. Oh, oh, this is nice. Mm. Something smells so good. What is that? It's smelling couple, couple. <laughs> couple. Where? Where are you like this? Beautiful couple. Where are you like this? Like what? My God. <laughs> Prove me wrong if that's not the case. Of course you're right, Your Majesty. I said it! <laughs> Your Majesty, you've just spoken the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. Your Majesty, here is our card. Oh my God. Our wedding have been fixed. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> this is so beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Congratulations! You. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this gladdens my heart greatly. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you know you single-handedly made this possible. That's correct. And I will forever be grateful to you. Please, don't even mention it. As you know, putting smiles on the faces of the people has come to be what I consider as my ministry. So I am delighted to have been the vessel that manifested this because this is awesome. I'm happy for you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. And guess what? I have graced this event already. With the king. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You. Don't even mention it. Thank I keep you. saying it. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, I don't see the king's fault in this. He has already settled you with a huge amount of money. Use that money to establish a business for yourself or something. Your own man will come. Honestly, I, I feel used. Ivy, I feel used. How do you mean? This is not what I bargained for. This is not what I bargained. I was, I was hoping the king could get me pregnant. 
And then I will bear him a song. And then I will step in as the queen. What? What did you just say? Indeed, you sound very wicked to me. I think you deserve exactly what you got. You know what? Lick your wounds without involving anyone. Just look at her. You want to really get the queen. Are you confirming to me that you're finally pregnant? <laughs> Your Highness, there you have it. Medical science has given us confirmation and it's right there in your palm. <sighs> I am pregnant. God decided to show up in his own time. I'm six weeks gone. <laughs> Thank you so much for what you have done for the women of this kingdom. Maybe this is the reason why God decided to remember you, finally. I know, right? <laughs> this child will come forth. Not only as a blessing to this kingdom, but as a blessing to the entire world. You see? I'm happy about <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Yes. Right outside checks to you. In our sight, whether you like them or not. You must know. Right outside checks to you. In our sight, whether you like them or not. You must know. No more heat and run away. In uncertainty, whether you like them or not, uh, you must bear. Right up, chingum gears. In uncertainty, whether you like them or not, uh, you must bear. This is right of side chicks. Uh, In uncertainty, whether you like them or not, uh, you must bear. Right of in a sight, whether you like them or not, you must bear. Now, so I see ya. Mm -hmm. She be trouble, they see me. The younger go wake up, the dead, yeah. Oh. Come the promise then Heaven on earth You can promise Waiting past you oh God. Because of a kid Chai kiri chalo wanchala Because of a konakogi Chai kiri chalo wanchala You promise a bongwagi What you cannot do Iche fuzie onye lili amwe Bune jibi ubo Uka para Isi keje kwe ya Melo ginkegi 